Penetration, but uh, they couldn't get Hart. Hartman, he gets the corner. He's out to the 40. Good straight drop. It rushed heavily and hit as he throws. Herman back, makes the catch, leans it, touchdown! Bensler drops back and lofts the pass over the center. Caught for a touchdown. He throws, but he's got open. Gatlin open. He nice makes catch. a great leaping grab. We're at South High School. We're only the fourth time in the history of Sheboygan football will a, will a Sheboygan team play an out-of-state team. Tonight, Sheboygan Lutheran will play Rockford Christian from Rockford, Illinois. Hello, everybody. My name is Mike Martin, and joining me is Tom Burr. Tom, we need to mention that Chris Wright isn't here tonight. He has work responsibilities over at St. Dominic. So I want to thank you for uh, giving of your time to come over tonight. It's my pleasure to be here. It's a great night for football, Marty, and I'm anxious to get the game started. A little unusual to play on a Tuesday night, but uh, that comes about because of a situation out in Kohler. Well, I think that's part of it. I think the other part is that the two teams that were scheduled for Lutheran went into a conference, so they had to scramble and get two non-conference games, and this is the only night Rockford could play. Now, Rockford comes in. They haven't played a game yet. Uh, they were ranked pretty high last year, uh, although they only finished 4-5. and five. Lutheran comes in. This is their second game. They're 0-1. They lost 21-0 uh, to, nothing to Williams Bay. It was uh, Williams Bay uh, totaled like, something like 209 yards, averaged 5.8 yards per carry. So they're going to have to, Lutheran's going to have to look to shut down the run tonight, I think. Lutheran likes to throw the ball. Uh, Taylor Poth was uh, 13 for 27 for about 130 yards last week. Uh, that seems the way that Lutheran goes. I think Lutheran does a lot of passing, and so we'll look for a lot of passing tonight. The only thing I worry about for Lutheran is, and then in, with this wind, the wind is going to have a great effect, I think, on the passing and on the kicking game. Good point. When we come back, we'll find out, how, find out how much of an effect this wind will have. I know it's blowing on our back right now, so stay tuned. We'll be right back with the opening kickoff. Not that I have much time with these little guys and my job, but when my wife went back to school, I thought, why can't I? Certain things in life demand my attention, but a new career in computer science deserves my attention. An evening class at Lakeland doesn't tie my life in knots, thanks to a flexible, easy to manage schedule that allows me to balance work, school, and the twins. Evening classes that meet once a week, that's the easy part. On the football field, you've got to stay focused and not get distracted. The same is true on the road. So before your wireless phone becomes a distraction, take a time out for safety. In bad weather or traffic, call later, dial sensibly, and use a hands-free device. You know, your wireless phone can be your best safety tool. To call for help, stop a crime, however you use it, remember, with wireless, safety is your call. It starts in your own neighborhood. When you care enough to give your time to help someone still learning the way and getting involved in the needs of your community. Once you've helped bring a smile to someone's face and help brighten their day, you'll be hooked for life. The Major League Baseball Players Trust and Volunteers of America are teaming up to make a real difference in the lives of the people in our communities. Join a winning team. See what you can do to help. We're back at South High School. Let's go through the starting lineup for uh, Sheboygan Lutheran. In the line, starting at center will be Will Smith. He's number 55. The two guards are number 67, Nicholas Carrier, and number 77, Matt Maldonado. The tackles are number 58, Zach Frank, and number 53, Matthew Risa. The ends are Joshua Nimmer. He'll be number, he's number 30. He'll be the tight end. The wide receivers are number 28, TJ Radloff. Radloff is the leading receiver for uh, the Crusaders in the young season. And number 25, Caleb Davis is the other wide receiver. In the backfield, the quarterback will be number 13, Taylor Poth. And the running backs, number 22, Benjamin Herbst. And number 10, Tony Holm. Lutheran is coached by Al Holzheimer. Al is also the uh, principal over at Lutheran High. We did not get a starting lineup for Rockford Christian, so we can't give you that. Uh, their head coach is Bill Shepard, and I believe we mentioned this is our first game of the 2005 season. It's also TV8's first game of the season. 
All right. Yes. Kind of tell by the opening. Oh. Oh. So far in the young history of Lutheran High football, they're only one in three in non-conference games. They're gonna wanna get that turned around tonight. And uh, I thought you brought up two really good points, Tom. One was the wind and how it could affect the passing game of Lutheran. And then the other thing, again, associated with Lutheran is they gotta be able to stop the running game. Well, they're gonna, stopping the running game, I think will be the big test tonight. That'll be one of the keys to the game to see what they're gonna do against Rockford's running game. If Rockford has a running game, because we don't know a lot about Rockford at this point either. Rockford is in Division 1A in Illinois with uh, amongst the private schools. They were four and five last season. Uh, the last time that uh, Sheboygan played an out-of-state team was back in 1973 when South defeated Rockford Jefferson 35 to seven. I think I mentioned this in the opening. This is only the fourth time in the 94 year history of Sheboygan football that they're playing an out-of-state team. Uh, we were watching, you know, the teams warm up, Tom, and uh, right now when you look out on the field and you look at the official, you can't see his shoes. That grass is uh, very long. Very long. I never liked playing on a long grass field. I don't know if it, I don't think the teams I coached were always that fast, but that long grass slowed us down some more, Marty. Well, it's definitely going to slow down the teams tonight. Yeah, it's very long at this time, but it looks, the field looks in great shape, and it's a great night for football. This is when, after coaching over 20 years, Marty, uh, this is when I still get the bug to be out there. Oh. Well, you still are doing some coaching. You know, we always call Chris Wright the coach because he does baseball for North and, uh, you know, he's done basketball, but uh, you got quite a resume behind you. There isn't much I haven't coached, Marty. <laughs> golf? I haven't coached <laughs> golf. Well, I, I keep trying to coach you in golf. I don't, it hasn't been working, though. No. <laughs> Maybe that's why you never call me to go golfing. You're just too frustrated. That's it. No, you golf better than I do, but I'll get you this year. Yeah, I don't know about that. I haven't been golfing very well lately. Captains for Lutheran are uh, number 67, Nicholas Carrier, number 22, Benjamin Herbst, number 25, my favorite number, Caleb Davis, and number 10, Tony Holm. One of the captains for uh, Rockford Christian is uh, Mike Guerin Jenny, Genty. Looks like number 61 out there are also Ryan Smith. Or is that 60? Yeah, 61. Or 57, I think, is one of the kids, John Lorenz. One thing we could go over, Tom, that I have is the officials for tonight's game. The man in the white hat is uh, Charlie, don't call me Al, Stark. <laughs> Charlie and I played football together way back when. Uh, Al Severson is one of the officials. Al Denboer, Mark Wolfel, and Ted Stark. Ted and uh, Ted is Charlie's boy. All right. So well, it was nice to be able to do something with your son. And they, they're always looking for officials, Marty, in most of the sports nowadays, basketball, football. I was talking with uh, Steve Schwartz from Manitowoc. He's been an official baseball umpire, really, for uh, going over 30 years now. And he said they're really having a hard time in Manitowoc getting baseball officials. And I know, generally speaking, the WIA struggles a little bit with uh, football. And uh, there's so many football games to do, you know, with freshman football and JVs and varsity course. So a lot of these guys, they'll be doing games three days a week. They'll be doing as many games as they can handle. I, I know that for sure because, like I said, they're always looking for officials. And, and I'm glad you recognize them because sometimes they don't get the recognition they deserve. I told them they better call a good game and they'll get recognized a lot. <laughs> Last week, uh, Williams Bay had a total of 294 yards. Uh, you had mentioned about 209 on the ground and uh, they really made hay. But uh, one thing that we failed to mention, uh, even though Lutheran was shut out, it mentioned in the paper that they had two passes in the end zone. That were Receivers dropped. wide open that were dropped. And uh, you know, put those two scores on the ball, on the board, put a little pressure on Williams Bay and it might've been a different ball game. Yeah, and I was watching uh Taylor Poth and warm-ups. He looks like a nice young quarterback. They have a lot of sophomores uh, starting tonight, Marty. Uh, young in the line, young at quarterback. And they're back to receive. 
One player that we should mention that isn't playing this year, he graduated and uh, moved on to play at Valparaiso, is Josh Binsler. Binsler was one of the finer players in the county last year, uh, set records for passing, and uh, was just a great defender. I believe he's playing defensive back at Valpo. Valpo. And he did lead the county in passing. Yep, oh yeah. Picking off with the Lions as we begin the first. Back deep to receive the kick is uh, Caleb Davis, I believe that is, number 25. And getting set to kick off is big number 75, Hunter Nelson. Short kick, taken at about the 16 yard line. Taking it right up the middle. Number 15, Luke Justin, Justin. Luke Justinger. Returns the ball for about 18 yards, and the Crusaders will take over. Be first down and 10 at the 34 yard line. Took that ball at the 16, returned it 18 yards. That's, that was a good return for the first one here tonight, Marty. Well, one thing he did, you know, is he, first of all, he caught the ball, didn't muff it, and then he took it right up the middle, you know, he didn't mess around. I always think it's real important when you catch the ball. I get really mad at my kick returners when they don't catch the ball and let it bounce. Oh boy. First down and 10, both barking out signals. The two wide receivers. Hand off and hit and dropped. Home on the carry. Yep. Brings up second down and eight yards for the receiver. Give him a gain of two, it's gonna be second down and eight. Ball on the 36. So the first play tonight for Lutheran was a run on the ground. Yep. If you look at the... They're gonna be actually playing into the wind this quarter. It'd be hard to throw the ball down the field. And that could be the reason that the first one was on the ground. Radloff and uh, Davis split out. Nimmer is a tight end. Pitch out, trying to get around the end and getting around, slipping by two tacklers is Tony Holm, and he gets it up over the 40 yard line. Some, some nice blocking over on the right side of the line, enabling him to go around end, Marty. Very nice blocking. He did a good job of slipping a tackle or two. Holm goes for uh, six yards. It's gonna be third down and two. One thing that uh, the Royal Lions of uh, Rockford Christian didn't do is they missed a couple of wide open tackles. Yes, he slipped right, right through him. Maybe the running back maybe did the job there, Marty. Yep, yep, got to give him credit, you're right there. Radloff split out, wide left. High formation in the backfield for the Crusaders. Hand off, oh big gainer. Home again on the carry, his third straight carry. He goes for the first down. First down and 10, ball spotted on the 49 yard line of Rockford Christian. Again, very nice job of blocking in the line there. They're cutting, they're taking the, Rockford's playing a 4-4 with that end, looks like he's either head up the offensive end or inside of them and they're taking him down and then beating the linebacker to the outside. They did a very nice job. We have timeout on the field by Rockford Christian. We'll take a short timeout and be right back. Is coming. There's no escape from the day you retire. And will you be ready financially? Are you ready, dear? You still can be with investments like an IRA or a retirement plan at work. It's never too late. But start now, because if you wait... You're making a grave mistake. You may wind up working forever. Saving for your financial future doesn't have to be a nightmare. Choose to save. One breakthrough machine gave us insight into the bones, as another did for the heart, and another for the brain. Now doctors are using a new machine to practice medicine and save lives. The difference is, it's one you can use too. When you log on to MedlinePlus.gov from the National Library of Medicine and the National Institutes of Health, you're tapping into the largest, most comprehensive medical website in the world. MedlinePlus.gov. First down in 10. For Lutheran ball spotted on the 49 yard line of Rockford Christian. Tony Holm has done all the carrying. Fumble by Poth. He falls on it. 
Rockford had, cha it. Rockford had changed their defense a little bit there, Marty. They're uh, blitzing a couple of the linebackers now and trying to stop that run. As we were coming up from doing our opening, uh, Tom, we had an opportunity to briefly speak with Scott Poth. I believe that's Taylor's dad. Scott and I played baseball together way back when. And uh, also, well, well, you were standing up, you saw me talking to that old guy. Well, that's Hank Poth. That's right. uh, Taylor's grandpa. Second down and 10. Poth under center. Drops back, rolling out right. He's pressured, gets the pass off, and it's picked off. Not a good decision there by Taylor. Once he got grabbed on, he tried to get rid of it, but... Uh, 65, Mike, Michael Ekstrom. Intercepted that pass, Marty. You're gonna see it right here. Pressure applied by Shields. And then you're right. Making the interception was Michael Ekstrom. It's gonna that, be sometimes that's the hard thing with a young quarterback. You gotta make sure, my teams used to run the option and I, sometimes you toss it or pitch it when you shouldn't. All right, try to do a little bit more than maybe you should try to. Running back for a Rockford Christian. Picks up pretty good yardage. That was number 40, Gail Sears. I mean, uh, Philip Burton. Gail Sears. <laughs> good luck, Bears. Burton picks up six yards on the play. It's going to be second down. We're going to call it second and four. They're playing a half eye, Marty, in the yeah. backfield for them. Power, this, that means we're gonna see a lot of power running from them tonight, Marty. Oh, well, sweep, but uh, pretty good defense played out there by David Hartman. Vesta on the carry. Excellent pursuit by the uh, Crusader defense coming up and filling and stopping that for a short gain. Third and about three. Maybe. Yeah. Oh yeah. Vesta picks up one. Ball on the 42. Straight drop back. Passes out to an open receiver. Thunberg pass out to uh, Mike Guerin. Guerin Jetty is incomplete. Guerin Jetty was wide open, coach. He was, the pass was out in front of him a little bit, but uh, they had a good play action pass. I think that helped to open him up. Uh, they were still in that power eye, so I, I still look for them to be doing, trying to do a lot of running tonight, Marty. We'll see. Nobody back deep, now dropping back. Late is Radloff. Christian punting it away. Their kick is away, Radloff makes a catch at about the 10 yard line, slips by one tackler, and he's wrapped up by uh, three other Royal Lions. Excellent job though, Marty, of TJ fielding that punt and not letting that bounce toward the, the yeah. goal line. So he gave them halfway decent field position yet. That was a nice catch. First down and 10, ball spotted on about the uh, 18 yard line, I think it is, Tom. First and 10 for Lutheran. They had a little bit of a drive going, and uh, Rockford played a little tougher defense, forced them into a passing situation, and that's when uh, things went south. And so far, M Marty, uh, except for that one attempted pass, Lutheran's been running it on the ground and ac actually doing a very nice job. Pretty good push out of the front line. Second back through is home. He struggles up to about the 20, maybe two yards on the carry. It's going to be second down and eight. Holm has carried the ball four times so far for 19 yards. I think that was the first one that they went really straight up the middle. Otherwise, they've been going off tackle or right. outside the end. And get, didn't get quite as much there, but. Rockford's been making adjustments on defense. 
You know, at the beginning of the game, I thought uh, the teams were of equal size, but uh, looking at them now, Rockford looks a little bigger than uh, Sheboygan Lutheran. Both dropping straight back. Sidearm wing out to Radloff. He makes a catch. He's at the 45, trying to juke tacklers inside Rockford territory, and it's dropped at about the 42. Excellent pass, Marty, into the into the wind. Got it out there for him. It hung up a little bit, but Radloff did a nice job of coming back and getting that ball, didn't he? Gain about 32 yards on the plate. First down and 10. You're going to see it here. Look at that. Wheels it as he's dropping back, but Radloff was able to get se separation. Came back and caught the ball nicely. Nice pass. That goes as a 38-yard gain. Makes it first and 10 ball on the 42 of Rockford. High formation, second back through his home. He's got an opening up the middle. Carries it straight up, and we get a late flag thrown. He's stopped at about the 35. Let's see what the flag is all about. I think we got holding on one of the tackles, Marty. He had somebody down in the backfield. Maybe <laughs> we can get a replay of that carry. It is holding. It's a very nice gain again by Lutheran. I think they're doing a super job of running the ball, Marty. And definitely was a big hole up the middle. And uh, home ran hard once he got the ball. I think we're going to take him back on this one. Oh, yeah. They aren't going to let him have that, that kind of a game. By the Lions. It is a ball is marched all the way back into Lutheran territory at the 46. Excuse me, repeating first down and 20. Ball on the Lutheran 46 yard. It's actually going to be about first and 21 because the ball, the penalty goes from the spot of the foul. Both on a pitch out to home, trying to get the corner, cuts it back up and is dropped at about the 49 yard line. About three yards around the right side. He did a good job of cutting in. He had to cut in and he, he got a few yards out of it by doing that. Second down and long for the Crusaders. I can't believe how far Rockford's safety is playing back, Marty. He's way back there. He must be a pretty good athlete that they figure he'll <laughs> run around and catch the ball when it's in the air. Number four is. He might have actually done some uh, special scouting. You know, figure they're going to be throwing the ball all over the lot. Keep one guy back. Last time he started out so far back, I thought Lutheran had a punt or something. <laughs> He's way back there. Yeah, let's see. Five, five ten. ten. Fifth, At least fifth, 15 yards. Yep. Split backfield. Fake pitch. Poth keeps it. He's got some room to run. Oh, Radloff missed the block. Yeah. <laughs> he went to throw him, but... Did a whiff, but uh, Poloff making a good run, getting it down to about the 40-yard line. That was an excellent run. Good fake, had everybody from Rockford going the other way, and he came out around this end. I'm not even sure that Radloff knew that Poloff was going to be running it. So I was watching Radloff to see if he's going to. Here we're going to see he makes a good fake, and then just keeps it, and you can see there's nobody there. There's that long grass. If it had been short grass, he'd had another five yards. At least, Marty. Pick up, pick up a nine yards on the play. Yeah, like you said, you cannot see anybody's shoes in the grass. A little bit different formation here for Lutheran. In the slot, double slot. Third down and long. Good rush. Pass over the middle to a rattle off is incomplete. Be fourth down. Short crossing pad uh, pattern to Radloff coming back across the middle. The other three receivers going the other way. He was open just a little bit behind him, I think. Tony Holm to kick for the Crusaders. Fourth down. And uh, Holm is back to punt. Kick is away. Looking for the go. Oh, not a very good one. One out of bounds before it got to the 20 yard line. Well, we're gonna at the 21 yard line where the line It's gonna be first down and 10 at the 21. Figured about a 19 yard kick, Tom. Not that far, but again, Marty, he was going into the wind, you know, into the wind. It's, you know, sometimes, Marty, 
the wind scares you more than, the, and yeah. has a worse effect on you. Yeah, really. And I think uh, that was one of the cases, went off the side of his foot, thinking about going into the wind. They're in that power eye again, Marty. Enough up the middle, I didn't catch the number of the ball uh, carrier. Fullback straight ahead. Brought down the play by Big guy, Reese number three. Gain of four yards on the play. Shields. Gain number three with a four yard pickup makes it second down and six. He is a big guy, Martin, 6'1", 215. Second down. Second down and seven. Fake to the first back, hands it off to the second back who gets around the end, makes a good move. Nice pick up there by Erica McDuff. Little cross buck action and handing off to the halfback, faking to the fullback coming this way and the halfback goes the other way. Nice little gain off tackle. That was very nice play. Good blocking up front. When you have good play action like that in the backfield going one way and then the other, it helps to set up that blocking too, Marty. First and 10, that was a 13 yard pickup. Again, second back through. This time, Gern Jetty, I believe that was. Nope. Tackle made on the play by number 10, Tony Hall. McMurphy. Number nine, maybe? O'Neill? Gain of five yards on the play. Yep, Sean O'Neill. Second and five for the Lions. Ball the senior for 30, Rockford. Yards. Five yard pickup. Makes it second down and five. And uh, they're getting out of the hole, Tom. Well, they're doing it, they're starting to do a good job with their power eye, using their power a little oh. bit. Movement on Rockford. Yep, illegal motion. Big number 61 came out of his stance, Ryan Smith, and that'll be a five yard penalty. Looks like he was blocking down Marty and the play was coming this way. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he wanted to make that down blocking. It's gonna be second down and 10. It's a five yard penalty, it'll be a repeat of second down. Second and 10, ball now resting on the line 36 yards. Rockford now is starting to use their power eye and going straight ahead behind that big number uh, three, Samuel Shields. No score, we're still in the first quarter. Bouncing to the outside and uh, picking up pretty good yardage. Looked like there might have been a fumble at the end, but uh, Philip Burton on the carry. Philip Burton carries for the Lions, gained them about eight yards. Burton gets it out to about the 43 yard line. Brought down the play by Lockridge. Third and about three again. Third and four for the Maybe line. Four. Resting on the yard. Taking the big fullback out, so maybe we'll see. Maybe they're going to fool us here and have a pass, Marty. Different formation. Trips to this side. Pick up a seven yards. Here we go. Quarterback draw. Ooh. Quick snap. Keeping it and running for the first down was Kent Thunberg. I thought I saw a clip over here, Marty, but uh, the flag came late. But I think maybe the official saw it also. Looked like a clip over here. The guy tried to avoid it, but he pushed him in the back. Al Severson uh, talking to uh, Charlie Stark, and we've got a hold called on uh, Rockford Christian. That'll push them back. I wanted to see that play, Marty, because I, I really thought they were going to do some kind of quarterback draw or well, draw. Well, that's the first that time formation. we saw him in the shotgun. And uh, and they had trips to this side and a split receiver to the other side. And then he took it to the short side of the field. Well, they've, it was a bad snap. and Maybe he was just trying to get what he could. Blew the that's play the apart, I think. Against the Royal Lions. repeat of the third down. Another penalty pushes it back to the... Uh, 37 yard line. 
And now we're gonna have third and 10, or make it third and nine. Yeah, trips again to this side. Oh uh, yeah. Thunberg takes a snap. They're gonna run a little bit of option. Thunberg keeps it. He's got good yardage. He's finally dragged down, but he's got the first down. He's still on his feet, holy cow. I thought they had him down earlier, but apparently not. Yeah, I was hoping they had him stop there right before the yard marker, but he pushed his way past that and then got a couple more yards and was very tough to bring down. Excellent job of running. First down, spot, ball spotted on the 49 yard line. That's a pick, pick up a 12 yards by Thunberg. Very interesting play out of the trips. Uh, option the other way away from the trips. Well, and that's a good strategy. Get the defense looking one way and take it the other. Plus he had the back if he wanted to pitch it out. Yep, and figuring with the trips they had him outnumbered. First back through is the fullback. He barrels for good yardage. Samuel Shields, 215 pound senior, rumbles down into Lutheran territory at the 37 yard line. 14 yard pickup. We've had a few mistakes here that have held the teams back a little bit, but Rockford's starting to get a little bit going with their power eye. And as I say that, they're gonna come out in trips again. Trips right. So third time they've run that, and uh, quarterback Thunberg is in the shotgun. Dropping back, rifles it out. He's got his receiver open, makes a good move, but a good tackle made out there by Sheboygan Lutherans. Is that 15? Number 15, Luke Justinger making the fine tackle, hanging on. Excellent job of hanging on to those shoestrings and bringing him down, Marty. I thought he was away, but he hung on. That was a tough play. He was out there all by himself, and he hung on and made the tackle. Pick up a seven on play. Third, second down and three. Actually, there's a pick up of eighth on that play. Ball is spotted on the 29 yard line. Hand off to the big fullback, Shields and he rumbles down inside the 10 yard line. Well, he's a load when he gets going. Well, right now, Rockford's got it going for him. They've uh, started out in that power eye and started going straight ahead on the Crusaders and they- Oh, look at that hole. Nice job, and he's tough to bring. He's a big boy, Marty. Yep. They got the ball down at about the 14 yard line, I believe it is, Tom. That was a pickup of 15 yards and they're getting yardage in big chunks all of a sudden. Look, they've done a nice job of going from the power eye to trips, and then with the trips they did an option to the weak side of the trips, and they did a pass to the uh, strong side to the trip side, and then they got in that trips formation and gave it to the big fullback straight ahead after they'd spread the defense out. They had the defense looking wide to the weak side, wide to the trip side, and then went straight ahead with their big fullback. And he got nice yardage on that. They've got, uh, they've got Lutheran on their heels, that's for sure, on this drive. They started back on their 21. Uh, they're down to the 14 yard line. And uh, the last couple of plays have gone 15, 8, 14, and 12. So they've been ripping off big yardage. Yep, they've been picking it up in chunks. And earlier in the drive, they had a 13 yarder. Again, they have trips off to the right, wide receiver to the left. Thunberg in the shotgun. I can key the fullback, right that guy. And uh, whistles blow, on the snap. motion. Illegal motion on Christian, and uh, they've been their own worst enemy on this drive. This will be the second, third penalty on them. Well, maybe one of these penalties will help Lutheran and be able to stop him here and get the ball back. Take advantage of one of those penalties. If that big guy is in the backfield when they're in trips, I just watch the big guy. That's a five yard penalty and repeat it for 
Moves the ball back to the 19 yard line. It's going to be first and 15. Thunberg at uh, at quarterback. He's been there all all night. We're still uh, winding down under a minute left in the first quarter. We're back to that powerhouse backfield, Marty. Power eye. Thunberg gives it to the second back through, looking for block, and he's got good blocking up in front. He squirts through the line, and he's into the end zone touchdown. On the carry, Erica McDuff, McDuff, pardon me. And he runs at 19 yards for the score. That was too easy, coach. Yep, it came right through there. I thought maybe young man from Lutheran, I'm not sure what number that was. It might have been number 24. Well, the one defender over pursued just a little bit, wanted to cut the angle, but uh, went a little too fast. And then couldn't catch him from behind. Yep, got himself out of position. In the kick. Joshua. is Joshua, Joshua Smith. See Sheboygan South run this formation on their uh, extra points quite often. Snap is down and the kick is up and it's through the uprights, it's good. With 47 seconds remaining in the first quarter, Rockford Christian leads it seven to nothing. trip or visit TravelWisconsin.com. Back at South High School where the homeless Sheboygan Christian, Sheboygan Lutheran Crusaders, pardon me, are trailing Rockford Christian seven to nothing. Uh, I believe that throughout the course of the season, uh, Lutheran will be playing several games here and several over at North. Uh, last year they played uh, several games out in Howard's Grove. Plans are in the works for a football field, That's but a it's good a thing. few thousand dollars down the road. <laughs> Costs a lot of money to come up with a facility <laughs> like this, doesn't it? Just a football field. It yeah, really. Money. Just the field. We're not even talking uh, bleachers. Or a nice stand benches. where we are. Yeah, really. But it's a beautiful night for a football game. I love this, Marty. Another short kick picked up at the 25-yard line and hammered down at about the 38 or 39 yard line is the uh, ball carrier for uh, Lutheran. I believe that was uh, number 24, John Lochran. With 41 seconds left, it'll be interesting to see the uh, Lutheran should be able to get the wind in, at, in this possession, Marty, and if they go to the passing game, when they turn around and get the wind at the Might back. Might be good to run a first down running play just to get the clock run out. Let's see what they do here. Poth on the handoff uh, to home, and uh, he's hit in the backfield, actually. Yeah, there's a lot of penetration on that. And penetration, I always used to tell my lineman, penetration kills. You can't have that. Makes the running back go wider. The guy who penetrates may not make the tackle, but it gives everybody else a chance to come up and make the tackle. Clock is running. We're at 8, 7. They might want to let the clock run out. I would if. Both not aware of that. Runs a play, quick out to rattle off. He's got the catch, slips one tackler, picks up a nice block, Super and he's out over the 45 and is knocked out of bounds for a Lutheran first down. Well, that was a super block, Marty, and I'm sorry to say I didn't catch the number of that guy. I'd like to mention his name. We got it on replay here. I Let's believe it's number 53. See if we can catch it. 53, 53. that was. 
And uh, when you know it, he's one of the guys that doesn't have a number on our program. Matt Recep. Matt, Matt Recep. That's Matt right. Matt Recep. I think Good one of the senior linemen. Excellent job downfield of picking up that block and enabling them to go for their first down. 14-yard pickup. With the first down, makes it first down and 10 at the 46-yard line. At the end of the quarter, teams are uh, they're switching sides. With that, we'll take a short break and be right back with further action in this, tonight's game. Six yard line, pulleth under center. Holm is a deep back. Gives it off to him. He's got some room up the middle. Picks up maybe three or four yards. Dropped at about the 49. Tony Holm on carry. Second down and seven. They've been doing a fairly decent job, Marty, I think, of running the ball on the ground so far tonight. Uh, they've hurt themselves a couple of times with penalties, but Lutheran has done a, a good job of running the ball. Second down for the Crusaders. They trail it seven to nothing. Pulls on a keeper trying to get around the corner. He's being pursued. He's gonna get the, oh, a good block. Slips by one tackler and then he's hit and dropped in Rockford Christian territory at about the 44 yard line. It's gonna be close to a first down. Number 25, Caleb Davis laid that block, Marty. Super job enabling. Oh, oh. Uh, You're gonna be able to see it here. He has a blindside shot. Ooh, good uh, hit. I like, I like that, I like that. Good job. First down and 10 for Sheboygan. We'll spot the ball on the 44 yard line. 7 yard pickup for uh, Taylor Poth. Looks like they might be blitzing Marty, we'll see. Herps the up back, he gets the carry. That's uh, his first carry of the night coach. And uh, hit actually probably a foot or so behind the line of scrimmage. We'll tack it, call it a no gainer. Yeah, he, but not much blocking for him. Well, the first play that he gets the ball, he went into the blitzing linebacker, so that... Oops, that didn't work so good. That didn't work. At least the linebacker was coming from that side. Maybe the tackle, somebody came down and got him, but they were blitzing on that side. Second down, and we'll call it 10. It's a little, it's a long 10, that's for sure. Jumping at the line by Rockford Christian. Passes batted up in the air. Radloff actually makes the catch. You'd have been better off to uh, knock it down. He's going to have the reception, but it's going to be for minus yardage. Yeah, I think he might have been better off knocking it down, but I was really happy to see him come back and make a play on the ball and keep it out of the hands of Rockford. That could have very easily, Marty, been an interception. We're going to give him minus three on that on that reception. That'll make it third down and 13. I think the minus three martyr is still better than an interception at this Ooh, for point sure, for them. for sure. Can't argue with that. Both going straight back, not much of a rush. Going deep to Radloff and uh, way out of his reach. A little bit of a misread. Pass goes incomplete, that'll make it fourth down and about 13. TJ Wildloff was just getting behind him too. Pass been over a little bit, that might have been a touchdown for Lutheran. I think now with the wind at their back, we'll see Lutheran come out and maybe do a little bit more passing.
McDuffin back deep. Holmes kick is away. A little better kick this time. McDuffa makes a catch inside the 20 yard line at about the 16. Nice job with the punt, Marty, getting good help from the wind, but you know you can't get good help with the wind unless you get it up, up in, in the wind. Yeah, good first, point there. First time Rockford punted, it was a line drive, so they didn't have the benefit of the wind. First down and 10 for Rockford. They're gonna take over on the 16 yard line. Uh, last time they got it, Tom, they marched uh, 79 yards for a score. Well, let's see if Lutheran can stop him right here and get the ball back. First back through, nope. Second back through, they faked me out. I thought Shields had the ball. But uh, not much of a gain there. Yep. By number uh, 24, Nimmer, Erica McDuff. And, and number 30, Joshua Nimmer was in on that tackle too, Marty. They did a good job of stacking that up. Taking out the big guy, we'll see what they do with the, with the ball this time. They're gonna go to their trips and do some sort of option. Second down and nine. The two wide receivers off to the left. They have a one split out to the right. Yeah, they have a slot and on both sides, and shotgun and one guy behind the quarterback. A lot going on for a screen. Thunberg no. rolling, rolling. Now he's going to keep it, and he's hit and dropped. Hard. Good tackle made out there by uh, Zach Vanderpie. Super tackle out there on the. On Vanderpie on the on the quarterback in wide open territory. You yeah, see Vanderpie drifting out from his tackle position. There you see him, number 72. He's the one that's going to eventually make the stop. He did a super job, Marty, of pursuing that play, staying with it, never giving up on it. And he came out and got the quarterback. I was surprised because it looked like he was trailing it, but he came right up there and made the tackle. Very good pursuit that time by Zach. Made a big play. It's third down and eight. Need a third down stand. Deep pass. And we have contact. Trying to make a cut for the ball was the receiver, Sean O'Neill, and getting in his way was a defensive back, number 25, Caleb Davis. And that's going to go against the defense. That's what happens when you don't see the ball, though. Yeah, if you don't see the ball, and I'm not sure how he. Interfered other than he got in the way. <laughs> he actually, he, he slipped and stood right there and the guy ran into him. I think if he hadn't slipped, it may not have been. The guy, he could have just been standing there. Well, I believe they, it's a pass interference is 15 yards like it is in college, I think. Right. It doesn't it's go. Not the spot, it's not a spot fall. Right. Ryan Andrews on the field camera. Andy McKillop behind that camera right there. Kerry Coutzer in the truck spinning the dials. I'm Mike Martin along with uh, the coach, Tom Burr. Now what are some of those teams you coached? Basketball, football? Basketball, football is your big one, football, right? Football, wrestling, wrestling, track. Softball? Softball. That is a 15-yard penalty from the original. I, I never coached golf, though, Marty. First down for the Royal Oops, got a problem here. Houston, we've got a problem. We lost our monitor, but we don't need that to make our mouths go. It's first down at 10. Ball spotted on the 32-yard uh, line. Nice job. Inside handoff, good tackle made. Shields brought down by Zach Vanderpie and Matt Maldonado. Loss of five on the play. Made by a couple of uh, Crusaders, Maldonado being one of them. And Vanderpie was in on that again. Nice job. Vanderpie got good uh, penetration and caught the big guy right at the knees, and he's getting help off the field. Second and long yardage for the Royal Lions ball just inside their own 31. Second down and uh, 12, are we going to give him? 12. Plus a two. 12 sounds good, Marty. Second down and 12. They're in that trips formation again. 
Well, they've been able to push him back, but they haven't been able to stop him. Oh, good run that time by uh, number 24, Erica McDuffa. Picks up big yardage. Gonna make it third down. Pick up eight yards on that uh, carry by McDuffa. Third and about, just about three, Marty. And um, yeah, you're right, it is up a little bit farther. We'll give him nine yards on the pickup. He'll like that better anyway. If it, if it were my statistics, I'd want you to bat him. <laughs> you need all the help you can get, Tom. Third down and three, another big third down play for uh, Lutheran. Pass interference penalties helped Rockford Christian and Thunberg helps his team with a nice run up to the 45 yard line. Thunberg uh, running the option and kept it again. Goes for a first and 10. Right now they have Lutheran a little bit confused with their spread formation. Uh, they're spreading them out and then they're <coughs> taking advantage of what they see they can get. Clock running, we're at uh, six minutes remaining until halftime. Lutheran trails at seven to nothing. Rockford Christian scored back in the first quarter on a 19 yard run by Erica McDuffa. Found an opening and uh, squirted right through it on a nice run. Thunberg in the shotgun again. And uh, we get illegal procedure. Delay a game on uh, the Royal Lions for Rockford Christian. It's going to make it first down and 15. Ball spotted at the 40 yard line. I don't know what happened here, Tom. We lost our monitor. Pull out the wrong plug, Marty. No, I didn't pull out any plugs, actually. What I try to do is not touch too much of this stuff because I'm uh, not very good at it. Snap back to Thunberg. Fires one up the middle, right through the hands of the intended receiver, Shane Yossi. Nice pass, Marty, right in his hands. I think their quarterback throws a fairly nice, decent pass. Well, he's a big kid. He's a load, just like uh, Samuel Shields is a big load. They're fullback number three. Second down and 15. Clock has stopped. We're at 5.13 now until halftime. Second down and 15. Thunberg in the backfield. Is Shields back in the game, Marty? He was hurting a little bit before. I think that Shields next to him right now. Yep. Irving has a blocking back. Pass up the middle. A little bit low was intended for uh, Aaron Genty, but uh, he can't make the catch. That's going to make it another third down and long play. Let's see if uh, Crusaders can uh, stop him. This would be a good time to stop him, make him punt into the wind, get the ball back. Good. Five five oh eight left in the, the half, Marty, and see if they can get something going and tie this ball game. Well, Tom, you blitz on this play or do you play it more straight up? Being the aggressive coach I am, somebody be coming at you, Marty. Well, only one wide receiver. That's off to the right. They have a full house backfield. Now we get Thunberg calling a timeout. He didn't like what he saw from the uh, well, they Lutheran were, defense. They Actually, it wasn't Lutheran defense. They were one man shorter on offense. <laughs> that's, why they, that's why they only had one wide receiver. Yeah, that's right. I thought it was a new formation, and it was. Well, we can't see if we're going to a break, but uh, maybe we ought to keep it right here, Kerry. Uh, talk a little bit about what's coming up on TV8. Our next broadcast is going to be this week when uh, Slinger invades uh, Sheboygan South in uh, their first home game. That'll be a seven o'clock kickoff. Uh, as is generally the case, Tom, we, we replay these games the night of the game. And uh, tonight, They'll see this game at 10.30. We'll also have uh, the coaches show on before that. And uh, I think on Friday night, fans will be able to watch that game at about 10.30. And uh, they might rerun the coaches show again prior to that. You see Brian Andrews has us on camera. Good shot, Brian. Best one all night. <laughs> <laughs> 
We're ready to start action again. It's uh, third down and 15. Ball on about the 40 yard line. I, now they got that second wide receiver. Second back through. McDuffa trying to get the corner. He does, but he's going to be far short of the first down. Gets it out to about the 47 yard line. Give him a gain of seven. Lutheran defense did a good job of stringing it out and not allowing them to get the first down. Let's see what they do here. About seven yards to go. I would think they got a punt and punt into the wind, Marty. I would think so. Dropping back for uh, the Lutheran Crusaders is uh, TJ Radloff. Radloff back to receive the kick of Hunter Nelson. Hunter Nelson, big number 75, does the kickoffs. Also is back to punt. Yeah, better get up on the line of scrimmage. A lot of Bad snap. Moving. Lutheran had a chance at it, but they couldn't get to it. Radloff lets it bounce. Good decision on his part, and it stops dead on about the 29-yard line. And that's where Sheboygan Lutheran will take over. I thought Lutheran was going to get that one, Marty, with the bad Ooh. snap and all the ball rolling around on they the ground. Had, but they definitely had a shot at it. Not Just a very good punt either, only oh. about 22 yards or so. But the big guy did a good job. He picked the ball up and got it off, didn't he? Yep. Actually goes as a 24-yard punt. We're in second quarter action, 4.06 remaining. Taylor Poth under center. He has Holm and Herbst behind him. Screen back, picked off by Tony Holm. He's got some room to run. He's passed most of the defense. Thunberg, the quarterback for Rockford Christian, knocks Holm out of bounds. You know, I thought that ball bounced, but I think it might have been a backward lateral. That's what I'm wondering. That's exactly what I was going to say, Marty. It looked like the ball went backwards, and uh, Tony Holm did a good job of picking that ball up, and the blocking was set up. Nice job by the linemen. They had three linemen out there blocking for him. I think if the ball were right on, he might have gone all the way. You could have gotten quicker to the corner. I'm going to give him a, a run on that. I'm not sure what it was, but it was whatever it was, it went for 26 yards. Lutheran in business. Pull straight back. He's got room, lofts it out. Trying to make the shoestring catch, or the over-the-shoulder catch, rather, was uh, Caleb Davis, but he was unable to get to it. It's going to be second down and 10. Second and 10 for the Crusaders. A little bit of pressure on the quarterback that time, forced him to throw it a little bit before he wanted to. Second and 10 and the ball on the 45. <clears throat> Home in motion this time. Pulls short pass complete. Trying to get the first down, but not quite, quite getting there was Joshua Nimmer. Nimmer coming underneath on a well-designed play, Tom. I thought it was an excellent design play. I hate to say it, but I was thinking the same as, same as you were. And he, well, smart people think the same way. Both receivers, he had, they had two receivers coming underneath and uh, both wide open. Could have gone to either one of them. Here you can see it. Comes underneath you. Good tackle made by the uh, Rockford player to stop Lutheran from getting the first down. It's a third down and one. Both barking out the signals. He drops back, fakes, he's rushed hard, gets the pass away, but it's a lame duck and it's gonna be intercepted. And I think that's intercepted by number five, Jan Goder. And uh, again, not a good decision by Taylor Poth. No, it, it was rushed and uh, just put the ball up in the air for, for grabs. And the closest, they were about three uh, from Rockford that were a lot closer than anybody from Lutheran on that play, Marty. It's gonna be first down and 10 for Rockford. The ball is spotted on 
about the 30 yard line. We'll call it the 29. Rockford Christian comes to the line of scrimmage. They have wide receivers left and right and three players in the backfield. First back through is going to be Shields, but he fumbled it. Rockford Christian gets it back, but they're going to lose yardage on the play. It looked like Shields ran into the quarterback and forced that fumble. I don't know if he was supposed to get the ball or not, but forced that fumble. About 235 left, Marty. Maybe we can get a stop here before half and get the ball back once more for Luther. Ball is spotted, was spotted on the 29. It's now spotted on the uh, 26. Second down and 13. Thunberg pitches it out to McDuffa, who's got room to run, and he gets up to the 35 before he's stopped. Rockford does a nice job with uh, on that pitch. They've got three people out there in that trips and they come, they have some nice crack back blocks on the people trying to get out there and make the tackle. It's gonna be third down, nice pickup that time. Looks like there might be a, excuse me, Marty, looks like there might be a penalty on the play. I don't see yeah, any Yeah, there flags. is a flag on the field. They're talking, oh, there is Back one. inside the 30 yard line. And it's going to go on Rockford Christian holding. That'll wipe out the nice gain by McDuffa. That will negate the gain of the last play. A 10 yard penalty from the spot of the foul. foul. All the way back to the, about the 19, Marty. And well, it's, yep, you're right, 19 yard line. With 2.11 to go. 20 yards, second down and 20. Ball spotted on the 19. McDuffa trying to get to the outside. He's got good speed and he's hit and dropped. Good tackle made by Caleb Davis. He got a good lick on McDuffa. I like how the uh, Lutheran pursues, Marty. They have a lot of good pursuit going out there and they helped each other out and got him down and really strung it out to the sideline. Would look like he ran a lot. He did run a lot of yards, Marty, but he only got about a half yard, it looks like. Yep, we're gonna, matter of fact, on the Official sheet right here in front of me is going to be zero. All right. Because you haven't gotten into fractions yet, right? Uh, no, we just started the school year. We haven't gotten that far yet. That'll come in November, I think, they start fractions. And then they work on that the rest of the year. All right. They still don't understand. Trips again. Thunberg making a good stop on that low snap, lost the pass out and it's short, incomplete. The intended receiver was Conrad Bognaby. Great pressure that time by, by Luther. And looks like maybe 24 was in there. Let's see, we have uh, 157 remaining. Rockford Christian will be punting and uh, Luther will have a shot at it. It's fourth down and 20. Ball spotted on about the 19. On the last time they punted, uh, the punter got a real poor snap but was able to just get it off. Hunter Nelson was the punter. We have a timeout on Rockford Christian. We'll take a short break and be right back. For me, it's giving the best of myself. For me, it's the professional team environment and the mutual respect that I share with my colleagues. For me, it's providing my patients with the best and safest care possible. For me, it's having the latest in healthcare technologies and the privilege of providing the best healthcare to America's veterans. We are the nurses of VA. VACareers.com, a career in caring. A little better than it will. Oh well, back to action here at South High School. Sheboygan Lutheran trailing Rockford Christian by a score of seven to nothing. Erica McDuffa scoring Rockford's only touchdown on a real nice 19 yard run. And then uh, Nelson booted the extra point. And that made it seven nothing. Now Radloff's been pretty sharp in the back taking these punts and he's, he's played it pretty smart. Good snap this time. Nelson's kick is away. Radloff will be able to field and he does at the 47 yard line. 
And then he steps out of bounds at about the 37. So give him about a 10 yard gain on the return. Done a good job, Marty, all night of fielding those kickoffs and punts. Well, you can see why he's uh, their top receiver. He uh, handles the ball real well. He's got the hands. He does. One forty-nine. Let's see what Lutheran does in the last about two minutes. Taylor Poth under center. He's got Herbst and Holm behind him. Second back through his home. He's got an opening up the middle, but a nice tackle made by Rockford Christians, Michael Ekstrom. Otherwise, uh, Holm would have gone for a much larger chunk of yardage. As it is, he picks up about four or five. Yep. Tony Holm has done a nice job of running the ball and catching the ball. And that long pass play or bounce pass play, whatever that yeah. was, he did a nice job. Maybe we can get a look at that at halftime, Kerry, and uh, see what really did happen. If it did bounce or if he made a shoestring catch. Poth makes a nice catch, makes a nice pass, and the catch is made by T.J. Radloff. And uh, you know, when you watch him pass, Taylor Poth, he seems like he's always backing up. And then he's throwing the ball instead of really stepping into his throw but uh, he's getting the job done. That was a very nice pass. Right on the money, let him right there. First down and 10, the ball is spotted on the 20 yard line. We have a timeout. And there you see uh, another saving tackle by uh, Rockford Christian, otherwise this game would be tied. That was a 12 yard pickup. I think those short passes are a little bit better for Lutheran. I'm not sure how much time he's got back there. It seemed when they tried to pass it a little bit longer, Marty, he hasn't had the time. It does seem needs. like uh, Lutheran has trouble handling the blitz because uh, they've come right through with those couple of times. And they've got, I, I think they're in an even 4-4 defense, and they've so they've got four different linebackers that could be coming from four different spots. Right, yeah, exactly. You've got to have uh, some linemen that are pretty sharp to be able to pick that up. And if they're not, you're hurting. And they're playing their safety so deep, I think that makes it a little harder to, to go deep on them, too. Oh, well, we're ready to go. 112 is left, Marty. Good point. And the wind is blowing to the south. So uh, Taylor Poth does have the wind at his back if he wants to go deep. Rolling under pressure, lofts the pass. Oh, right through the hands of the receiver, Caleb Davis. But uh, let's give get, some credit to that uh, Rockford defender because he got a hand up in front of his face. Yeah, he may have even touched it a little bit, Marty. He was right there too. Well, there was one. If he gets a little more uh, distance in that throw, the receiver may have been able to uh, catch it without quite so much interference from the defense. Yeah, the Lutheran uh, receiver did a good job of getting behind him. There you see it. S stepped into that throw a little bit better, I thought. Back to live action. Both under center. Herbst and Holmes, home behind him. Dropping back as a quarterback draw, but uh, Steven Shields, the big fullback playing linebacker, uh, reacted to the play real good, and both is dragged down after a short gain. And give him gain a three on the play. Number three, Shields was the only only player there for Rockford. That would have gone a long ways uh, if he hadn't made the saving tackle, Marty. Let's see. Well, Shields actually is uh, playing a defensive end now. So it was a real fine play by him. Third down and seven. Both looking. He's got a nice catch by Radloff. Wow, one-hander, Tom. Beautiful. He's dropped it Marty. inside the 10-yard line. Woo! One-hander behind him, and it's a first down, Marty. And there's 23 seconds left, and he calls a timeout for Lutheran. Radloff with a great catch. You're going to take a look at it right here. Passes a little bit behind him, but he gathers it right in. Wow. Super job. Don't see many better than that, that's for sure. It's going to be first and goal. Ball is spotted at about the six yard line, or is that the seven? About the seven, I think, Marty. Okay, so we'll give uh, 
That play a 10 yard pickup. It was a third and seven, they picked up 10. Well, they only have 23 seconds left. You'd think they'd be going to the air. And I would uh, think, Marty, that they're almost gonna have to go to the air. Uh, might try a screen pass. They had a I was very just nice thinking screen that, pass but before. Didn't, don't they usually say because you don't have a lot of field to work with, the defense really doesn't drop very far back. So you can't, you know what I'm saying? That's true, they're, Marty, they're in but, the area more. but what happens is um, you do have, you might end up with more people to block the defense that's left because you're letting people through and then your linemen are left and you might have five linemen on three backs. I like that little drag play to the tight end again. They did that very nicely before Marty. Well, Taylor Poth is gonna go under center as he has most of the night. Radloff is split off wide to the left, Davis off to the right, Nimmerer is a tight end on the right side. Going to the corner, Ratloff there, and he makes the nice catch, job. touchdown. What a grab. But I know you can't really see through his face mask, but when you look at him making the catch, it looks like his, his eyes are just focused on that football. And the young quarterback, Taylor Poth, did an excellent job, put that right on the money. That was a timing play, Marty. That ball was in the air before the receiver was looking. Excellent job. You get another look at it. Just a couple steps, and he threw it right away and laid it up in a good spot. Quarterback did an excellent job. Put it right over the defense right out there. The kick is up and good. All right. Jeremy Klein, I believe that was, kicked the extra point, or no. Matt Holler, pardon me, kicking the extra point. And that ties the score with only 16 seconds remaining. Excellent pass, Marty, that throw to the corner by the young quarterback. Good reception, good receiver. You know, that's almost impossible to defend, too. I mean, once you're on the inside shoulder of that receiver, it, it is virtually impossible to defend. And the quarterback had the ball in the air before the receiver had turned around to look for the ball. Yep, it was on its way. Great timing play. Well, our first points of the year for Lutheran ties up the score. Um, I generally think this way, Tom, the game of football is so dependent on having a strong defense and uh, Lutheran has risen to the occasion other than that one drive when uh, Rockford really pushed it right down the field. And if I remember right, there were some penalties on that drive that hurt them. And well, yeah, actually, you know, the penalties were on Rockford, and they were able to overcome them. There were, I think, two of them on that drive that uh, they got, and uh, they were, and they, they did rip off chunks of yardage. But uh, Lutheran has done better since that drive. Kickoff by Klein is back to about the 15-yard line, oh, wrestling them down. Seven. Big number 72, Vanderpie. Zach Vanderpie has done a super job here tonight. He's now, having fun. He he took out the blocker and he he got the kick receiver. Here you're gonna take a look at it again. Good catch and a return, but uh, Vanderpie says, "Not in my house," or should I say, on the <laughs> south side? <laughs> that was that was excellent. Ten seconds remain until halftime. Took the first blocker. <laughs> was there a blocker? <laughs> yes, there was a blocker. There was supposed he to be a blocker. took everybody down. It didn't matter. He would have taken his own teammate down along with him. Getting into position is uh, Sean O'Neill. Thunberg makes a good catch. Throwing deep. Davis right there taps it away. Also in position to make the interception was Tony Holm. Now we have five seconds remaining on that pass in completion. Good job by Lutheran. They had lots of people back there to defend that pass. Not give them anything here before halftime. Second down and 10. Back deep in safety position is uh, Radloff and Holm. They didn't want to let anyone get behind them. Three wide receivers, trips as Tom likes to call it, off to the right. 
Thunberg in the shotgun again. Quick out. Erica McDuffa makes the catch. And he picks up good yardage before he's finally thrown down. And uh, that's the half. We're at halftime here at South High, where Sheboygan Lutheran is tied with uh, Rockford Christian, 7-7. Seven to seven. Do you know how many kids are risking their health by eating unhealthy foods, stuffing themselves, and not getting any exercise? Oh, thank goodness. You got here just in time. Where's the problem? In there. Hey, what's going on? What are you doing? Here, try this. The original fast food. Doctors know that our children need a diet rich in fruits, vegetables, high-fiber vegetarian foods to help them grow up healthy. Call for a free booklet or visit kidsgethealthy.org. Guys, what do you got? You got a 28 year old black male, got three gunshot wounds in the chest. One upper chest, one lower chest, one center. It's bleeding a lot. We're there are two paths a child can take. Sir, try not to move. We have a 28 year old male. For over 25 years, we've been helping children choose the right one. Communities and schools, helping kids stay in school and prepare for life. This. Brand new student loan applications on the site, baby. This calls for a celebration. Well, we're obsessed with getting you government information. What are those? Government surplus cars for auction. You posted those online last time. Some halftime stats. Total yardage for uh, Rockford Christian, they had 166 yards, but we mentioned at the beginning of the show, Tom, that it was important to be able to stop the run of that 166, 142 were on the ground. So uh, even though Lutheran played pretty good defense, they still need to pick it up a little bit. On the flip side, Sheboygan Lutheran had 127 yards of total offense. 87 of those were through the air. Taylor Poth was seven of 13 with two interceptions. Uh, his big receiver was a T.J. Radloff. Radloff had uh, one, two, three, four, five, six catches for uh, 78 yards. The big one was the first one, a 38-yarder. And uh, you noticed something before we came on the air. Where were both touchdowns scored going with the wind, right? Both touchdowns were scored going to our right with the wind, which is interesting with uh, Rockford having a lot of those grounds on the yard, on yards on the ground, Marty. Well, it doesn't look like uh, one team or the other deferred to the second half. Of course, uh, 
If you're Lutheran, you'd probably want to take it in the second half, so you don't think they want it. Right. Anyway, kickoff is going to be by uh, Matt Holler. Holler kicked that extra point. Hey, there's uh, Tommy Rush, my brother-in-law, and uh, Todd Decker behind him, the big guy. Kickoff taken by uh, McDuffa. McDuffa, little juke move, and then he's going to be hit and dropped outside the 35 at about the 36. Good job by the Lutheran uh, kickoff team getting down there and stopping him and making the tackle, gang tackle. Ball is going to be spotted at the 37-yard line. It's going to be first and 10. The last couple of possessions by Rockford Christian, uh, Lutheran kept them in some unfavorable down and distance and uh, forced them to throw the ball maybe a little more than they wanted to. Uh, Thunberg in that first half, Tom, was only two for seven for 24 yards, and the, the last pass was for 16. <laughs> Let's hope that Lutheran can keep him down here now and take advantage of the wind and first get the ball back. First back through his shields, and uh, Shields was the leading rusher in the first half with 54 yards. He can uh, tack on about eight more on that carry. They get second and two. Yep, tackled by number 10, Tony Holm. He looks to be hurting a little bit after that tackle. Yeah, we're going to give him pick up a nine. First back through again is Shields, and he takes it up over the 40. And uh, they probably had their most success in the first half when, when he was seeing the ball a lot, and that's what they're doing right here. Yep, they're doing a no huddle, Marty. They're going right away. Ball is spotted at the 41-yard uh, line. Oh, good tackle made right in the middle of the line. Vanderpie in there, along with um, Matthew Resop. Excellent. Two of the seniors, I believe, for Lutheran. I think they're both seniors, Marty. That was a good stop. That's what they need to do more of. Second down and 11. Well, Shields busts off tackle, dragging. A defender from uh, Lutheran up to the 50-yard line before he's finally wrestled down. He's going to be a little bit short of the first down, but uh, good pickup that time. They seem to be pounding the big guy inside, Marty, now just to see what they can get. I like the different things they've done. They've used different formations, and in the start of the second half now, uh, they're using a quicker tempo and using a different tempo than they did in the first half. Third down and one, Thunberg on the keeper. He cuts it back, eludes one tackler. He's gonna pick up big yardage. He's gonna be inside the 40 down near the 35. Wow. Pursuit wasn't quite there for Lutheran like it's been and, and it wasn't several plays in the first half. Well, I think the pace hat. Here we go. Looks like it might be an option. I'm not sure. Well, Shields threw a pretty nice block. Through a great block. And, and he gets another, another one, one too. <laughs> first down and 10. Shields, the first back through, is hit at the line of scrimmage and driven down. Good defensive play by Lutheran. Uh, trying to get the number 88. David Hartman and Vanderpie again. Vanderpie is having a real nice game tonight uh, defensively. That uh, long gainer by. Uh, Kent Thunberg was a 15-yarder, and they're running the same play to this side. Pretty good penetration, though, by Lutheran, and Holm wrestles him down at about the 36 for a loss. Good get a job. good shot at Tony Holm. I'm the man. <laughs> there, was a, there was a good shot on the play, and again, Lutheran was back to the good pursuit. I thought they've had pretty good pursuit all night. Marty when, Just that uh, one play to the other side, yeah. but the other, you're right, they, they've done really good. Well, that, uh, big third down play here, though. Big third down play. They've been running everyone. Let's see if they go to the air or even in, go out in a different formation. They're in their power eye, though. Jaron Getty's wide to the right. They've looked to him several times, and it is to him, and it's intercepted by Holm. He's up to the 35-40, 45-50, down to the 40. 
And he steps out of bounds. We'll have to see where they mark it. It's going to be at about the 44 yard line. Is that Homer Taylor Poth? Taylor Poth, you're right. A little hard to see sometimes with the shadowing of the numbers, but you're right. Taylor Poth on the good reception, interception. You're going to see it here. It gets tipped and then he picks it off. He was right over the back of the receiver to, to get that after the tip. Look Making the tip was uh, number 22, Herbst. And, Herbst and then Herbst gets a good block. Good block downfield on that also. Super play for Luther. First down and 10. They have the ball spotted at the 44 yard line with a chance to take the lead. Holman Herbst in the back. We get a whistle as the ball is snapped. Most likely some kind of motion or offside there, Marty. Looks I heard through offside. the grapevine there is no offside this year. It's always illegal motion. <laughs> unless, unless Marty is unless on, it's the, on defense. the defense. But then it's encroachment. Okay. <laughs> Let me see. I'm going to go to your official sheet so I can officially know <laughs> what the, the answer is. I'm going to look it up right now. First and five from the line, 39-yard line. 39-yard line, first down and five. NCAA, it's offside, Marty. Encroachment otherwise. Two wide receivers left and right. Home is a lone setback behind Poth, and he fumbles the snap, and he falls down. Let's see if he's got it. They're still scrambling for it, and Rockford Christian has it. Oh, my. Boy, they had great field position. Good down and distance, and they fumble the ball away. That's a big play there. Well, first down and 10 for Rockford Christian. Defense going to have to do it. Defense is going to have to get back up there. Sometimes it's hard when you get the momentum going your way, and then all of a sudden you give it right back. They had done a nice job. Yeah. You get a whistle on the field stopping action. Time out taken on the field. Want to remind our viewers our next broadcast for TV8 is going to be on Friday when Slinger, coached by former Sheboyganite Fred Spaeth, invades Sheboygan. They'll be playing right here at South against uh, Sheboygan South. South and North both had a rocky start last week, but uh, according to Dave Pfeiffer, he's, he's not as worried as some people might think. They ran into a, a real good team in that first game. Hartford, I think, is a, has a pretty good program, Marty, and I'm sure they have a good a good team. I did. I, I saw that North game, and I saw some, some good things from them on offense. I think some things for them to build on, and... They're in a new system, and it takes a little while sometimes when you get in a new system to, to get it oh, going. Yeah. You definitely have to think they're going to be playing uh, at least more comfortable with their plays and with the defense and that as the season rolls along. And uh, I don't remember, you probably would remember better than I, I don't remember a North team in recent memory that's played a 4-4 defense. At least not as their base defense. No, I can't remember that for quite a while. And you've been there. And I've been there. <laughs> How old are you now? I probably did it on the day. Say something about being 60 pretty soon. Next th next month. We're almost there. We're almost there. Last year teaching? Last year teaching. Well, last year working as a full-time teacher. Yes, yeah, so I'll kind of. We're kind of always teachers. That's true. I'll try to teach you out on the golf course. Yeah, right. Trying to school me again. <laughs> you and Mr. John Van Vagel, that's my Ooh. goal. I was talking with uh, Big John Sinellis, and I said, John, I said, geez, I heard you're a pretty good golfer because he's really good in a lot of different sports. And uh, yeah, had a 34 on the third nine at Town and Country, and I took a double bogey on the par five. I couldn't find my ball. <laughs> Jeez. Wow. Snap, Shields trying to get to the outside. He cuts it up off tackle before he's wrestled down over the 45-yard line. Well, he's a load. He's a big guy. Nice job by David Harpman from Lutheran to turn that, turn that in. He just needed help to come from the inside. 
to make the tackle. It came, it came, but a little bit late, not until after a gain of about seven. We have trips again, Marty. For those of you out there that... It's three wide receivers three on one side. Three wide receivers on one side. Thunberg fakes one way, flips it out to uh, McDuffa. He loses the ball, but it's recovered by a teammate. Number 57 making the recovery, John Lorenz. Good job by Andrew Grunewald uh, turning that play in and stopping it. Before And then he got help. Loss of four on the play. If it's on uh, Rockford Christian, Sheboygan might want to decline the penalty. See Al Holzheimer, head coach and uh, principal over at Sheboygan Lutheran. Holding, it could be third and nine or second and a, on a bunch. Well, not that much. The holding's back up here at the line of scrimmage, so. Not going to gain that much from it. Oh, it. Looks like they're going to take her back, though, Marty. Well, they're going to mark it from the 46-yard line back, and it's going to be spotted at the 36. So no gain, or pardon me, no play. Penalty was on Rockford Christian, and that's going to keep it at second down, and let's make it second and 15. Ball is spotted on the 36. Quick out to McDuffa. He's trying to get to the outside. He does, but he's uh, taken out of bounds by a couple of uh, Lutheran tacklers. Only the third reception, or pardon me, third completion by uh, Thunberg. And two of them have been that same play to one of the trips that are out there. Pickup of eight on the play. Third and seven or eight, they're in that power eye formation again. Yep. Fake to the first back, trying to get to the outside is Thunberg, he does. Throwing on the run, uh, a difficult pass and it over, he overshot the receiver, Shields, but uh, he showed pretty good quickness, Tom, to get to the outside. He did, he, he got to the outside, which a lot of times ends up being a bad thing for the other team, but uh, Lutheran always, they, they seem to keep coming tonight, which I think is a good thing for them and uh, made him throw off balance so he couldn't complete the pass. They had a couple of guys deep, o wide open, but there's no way on the run like that, throwing yeah. back right. if he made that play. If he was a, le if he was a left hander like he should be, it would have been a much easier play. Left-handing is only good in golf, Marty. <laughs> Great. Thought you weren't any good in golf. Maybe that's your problem. You should be golfing right-handed. I tried that two years. Kick away by Nelson. Radloff has and he's hit immediately. Ball is going to be spotted at about the 37-yard line. Lutheran's going to have it back. With, we have 7.31 remaining in the third quarter. The score is 7-7. Seven to seven. We probably should be mentioning that a little more often. That's Tom Burr in the yellow shirt with the glasses, and I'm Mike Martin in the red shirt with the glasses and the gray hair. Of course, gray hair is better than no hair, huh, Tom? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm what, only, a, what a kid. I'm only gray on the sides. Well, I guess that's a good thing. Look how deep the safety plays. Yeah, he's a good 15, 16 yards back. A little flip out to the side and uh, making the reception was home, but he's going to be hit for a big loss. Super play. I'm trying to get the number of that guy. Number three, of course, Samuel Shields, the big guy. Yeah, he's a load. That looked like a backward pass too, Marty. Yeah. Well, we're going to give him a loss of 10 on a reception. That hurts your passing yardage. Oh, boy. Second down and 20. Ball spotted on the 27-yard line. 
Pulleth under center. Comes the blitz. They're coming at him, they're gonna get him, and he tries to flip it away and almost threw it into the arms. Like, what is that, number 29, I believe that was, or 28, John McClintock, but uh, a little bit low, but uh, dangerous pass. Dangerous pass, gotta be, that's the hardest thing, I think, when you're a young quarterback is. You never, you wanna do your best, and you wanna not give up the big play, and you, sometimes you just try too hard. And you get rid of the ball to the wrong people. Yeah. Third and a long ways, Marty. Holy cow, they're calling that a sack, huh? Ball is spotted on about the 14 yard line. Here they come Another again. 13 yard loss. And we get a whistle. I didn't, actually didn't even see the play, was sacked again. Back inside the 10 at the nine yard line or eight yard line. That's two plays in a row, Marty, that they brought everybody. They're challenging Luther now to, okay, you're gonna, you got a long ways to go, you're gonna throw a long pass, you're gonna have to contain our blitz. And so far, Lutheran hasn't. You know, they really went backwards on that particular uh, possession. And it looks like they may be coming on this kickoff. And a loss Hunt. of 10 on a, on a reception and a loss of 13 and a loss of six on two sacks. McDuff uh, muffed the catch but uh, got the ball back. But they're gonna be in great field position inside the 40 yard line of Sheboygan Lutheran. When they're marching backwards just isn't good. No, nope, now they're giving him Good field position and they started off at the 37, Tom. Really, that's not too bad a field position to start an offensive drive and shoot. They're giving the ball back to a Rockford at the 37 <laughs> or 38. Doesn't matter, you know, it's pretty doggone deep. Yeah. Yeah, it was approximately where Lutheran started. Thunberg hands it off to uh, number 40, Philip Burton. Burton hasn't seen a lot of carries tonight. He had two carries in the first half for 13 yards. That's This is his first carry of the second half. Picks up about three yards. They're still, they're huddling up now, but they're still moving at a pretty good tempo here, Marty. I look for him to give it to the big guy again. Yeah, they've, Gained a lot of yards with him. McDuffa has it on the sweep left, trying to cut it back. Pretty good pursuit though, making the stop for Lutheran was Jeremy Klein. McDuffa picking up a good yardage on the play, however. Give him a gain of seven. Close to a first down. Yep, it's gonna be third down, actually less than one. Ball spotted just outside, just inside the 30-yard uh, line. They didn't give the ball to the big guy that time, but he was blocking yeah. all the way for that play. He makes an impact whether he has the ball in his arms or not. And he's been affecting it right up the middle with Shields that time. And uh, picks up a good quick five or six yards. No stopping him there. No, he's He's quick to the hole, Marty, for a big guy like that. He's real quick to the hole. He did a good job of lowering his head and getting some good yardage. Ball is spotted at the 14 yard line. <laughs> Time for Luthen to step up here and let's stop him. Second back. Philip Burton on the carry, he picks up big yardage. He's got a first down, he's gonna be hit and dropped inside the 10. Boy, oh boy, you can tell Burton wants to carry the ball more, he's running hard. That was a very nice run, good blocking again in front of him by Sam Shields. Number three, the fullback. Good blocking at the point of the attack because the fullback came through there, didn't have to touch anybody until he got to the linebackers.
Burton again on the carry, kicks it up the middle. He slips through the hole and scores a touchdown. Well, they got it in good field position, Tom, and marched right down the field. All runs. All runs. 38 yards in one, two, three, four, five plays. You're going to see it. Good blocking right up the middle, and Burton makes a tackler miss right there yeah. and slips yeah. through. I hate to mention his name again, but Sam Shields laid a nice block at the point of attack to yeah. let him go through there practically untouched, Marty. Swinging gate. <laughs> swinging gate. See it swinging? See it going over there? Now Rockford Christian is set. The placement and the boot is up. Josh and good. Extra point kick is good. Joshua Smith kicks it, and with uh, 351 remaining in the third quarter, Rockford Christian leads it 14 to seven. Let me see, Marty. 14 to seven, 351 to go. That's the first touchdown we've had to the north end zone against the wind. And uh, that flag still is uh, straight up. Wind blowing from north to south, but uh, when you run the ball, it doesn't make too much difference. Now when you run the ball like that, Marty, that, uh, sad news here for Yeah, only 351 with the, with the wind. So they're gonna lose the wind, Marty. But they should get good field position, a very short kick. And uh, good decision by that uh, Lutheran deep person, Radloff, to uh, just get on the ball and keep possession. They'll have it at about the 30 yard line, first and 10. For a minute, it looked like nobody wanted the ball and nobody else was gonna fall on it. I'm glad that he did. Yeah, He's made really. some good decisions back there all night and done a nice job fielding punts and kickoffs. Ball is spotted right on the 30 yard line. Let's see if Lutheran can get something started here in the third quarter. They have the wind at their back. And sometimes though, that you know, they've, they've had a couple of nice running plays once in a while. And sometimes that works to your disadvantage, thinking you have to use the wind right. when you got it right away. Pulls back, fires the pass, but it's over the head of the intended receiver, Davis. That time he was on his back almost right away, Marty. It's hard to throw the ball when you're on yeah. your back. Isn't that the case? That's for sure. One of the defensive people were right in there right away. We've got some passes incomplete. Makes it second down and 10. Ball on the 30. 344. After that incompletion, we got wide receive two wide receivers left and right. Home, a bad snap, and Poth has to fall on it for another loss. Back to the 25. Wow. Yeah, the snap almost went directly back to the running back, not to the quarterback. That's why that was a bad snap, Marty. Yeah. Well, anytime you run that, and they didn't run much uh, shotgun in the first half, but anytime you do that, that uh, puts a lot of pressure on your center. And you know, if you're a tough defensive player and you hammer on that guy, you know, it gives them an extra thing to think about. Well, something else I just thought of, Marty, is uh, sometimes when you're doing that long snap, the wind has an effect on that also. And I'm wondering if on that play, it didn't uh, push it a little bit to the side or keep it from going back like the center wanted it to. Well, Poth is under center this time. It's third down and 15. And uh, Rockford Christian right through there. And Poth never got the ball. No, it looked like Rockford knew the count and I'm not sure Lutheran did. <laughs> because Lutheran was standing there and Rockford took off. 
Well, another loss on the play of about uh, two or three yards. We'll make it three. And I would think that the ball was snapped on that, Marty, because we did not have a penalty. No, you're right. So the center and Rockford went on the, with the ball. Back deep is McDuffa. He's uh, stationed at about the 35 yard line. There you get a great shot of uh, Erica. And flags on the play, Stop or stops action. Linesman, so it's either that motion or yep. encroachment or maybe not enough men on, on the line of scrimmage. Offside on the defense, but it's not going to make much difference because uh, Lutheran is uh, almost 16, 17, 18 yards away from uh, getting a first down. They take the penalty and will line up right away. Let's see if Rockford will come up and go for this. Kick is away. McDuffer racing up. Let's it bounce, it goes right to him. He got a real friendly bounce, but uh, Lutheran is right there and they stop him at the 40. A Couple of nice hits on the play when they got down there. Boy, Tim McDuffa really got a friendly bounce on that uh, punt, but uh, wasn't able to do much with yeah. it. I was shocked to see him catch it actually, Marty. I thought he was gonna <laughs> yes, let it go past him. And all of a sudden, I don't know that that was a friendly bounce. I think it was a good catch. <laughs> Well, the Royal Lions have it on the 40, and they lead 14 to 7. And uh, 158. I left think they're going to see a healthy quarter. dose of uh, big number three, Stephen Shields, on this drive. Shields, McDuffa, and Burton in the backfield. Burton uh, scored the touchdown on a 13-yard run in the last uh, possession. Uh, Shields right up the middle. He had a big hole. And he runs right over a defender before he's ripped down at the 40, a 20 yard pickup. And a penalty on the play though, Marty. I don't know who the penalty is on, but. Being run over was uh, Benjamin Herbst and uh, he's. Oh, nice hole for him. Good running. Check that that was TJ Radloff that got run over. But uh, stepping off the field with an injury was Caleb Davis, number 25. He's on the sideline. And uh, this will really help Luther. 20 yard run by uh, Shields. Wiped out by a penalty. A penalty happened at the uh, 46 yard line. So we'll give uh, Shields a six yard pickup. Then there's a penalty. There you see Davis being attended by the trainer. We're gonna have a timeout here, Marty. Yep, timeout on the field and time up out here with uh, Rockford leading 14 to seven. Remember when it first hit me. Applied energy in a forward direction equals human locomotion. What does this all mean, Doc? Well, it changed life as we know it. I thought, wow, this concept might actually change the way we get from point A to point B. I felt like Einstein inventing the telephone. <clears throat> I give you the human foot. Get up, get out, get moving. A message from the American Academy of Orthopedic Surgeons. Exactly. That right now they've been overpowered a little bit defensively. They started to blitz and just come at them. There you see the scoreboard with a uh, tale of what's going on. The ball is on the 37. It's first down with 14 yards to go. And we're in the third quarter, 151 remaining. Rockford Christian with a 14 7 lead, and they have the ball. Each team has two timeouts remaining. Hand off to Shields, trying to slip off the left side, but uh, Lutheran is there to stop him. They push him out of bounds at the 40. Did a, Lutheran did a good job of stringing that him out. He did get about four or five yards, but they strung it out nice and didn't let the big guy get rumbling. It's gonna be second down and 10. 
Ball spotted at the 40. We give Shields a three yard pickup on that play. Shields has nine carries already this quarter, Tom. Well, they're starting, like we were discussing at the timeout there, they're starting to use their power a little bit. They're powering them on defense by blitzing a lot of linebackers and they're running straight ahead right now against Lutheran. He has 48 yards, it gives him 102 on the game. Thunberg hitting the backfield and he's sacked at about the 35 yard line. Good job. Uh, Maldonado on the sack. Maldonado took him down, but Tony Hume blitz and uh, stopped him first. Hit the ball on the 35 yard line makes it uh, third down and 15. Big We're gonna have to get the painters out here before Friday. Those lines a little, I, little more noticeable. I think so too. I mean, it's not just my eyes, it's the field. I think it's that grass is still growing, Marty. Thunberg dropping straight back, rifles a pass over the middle, and the receiver comes back, made a great adjustment, but dropped the ball. Oh boy, Lutheran caught a big break there. Yeah. That ball should have been caught. Should have been caught, but there was the effect of the wind on the ball, Marty. That ball actually fell, it seemed to fall well, away from the receiver. Let's see, I think it, you know, I almost think it slipped out of his hands, Tom. Let's see when he steps up. It doesn't matter, the ball should have been caught. When it's in your hands, you catch it. Fourth down. Radloff is back deep. Along with uh, teammate Tony Holm, I believe that is, Tom. I can't quite catch yes, his you're, number. You're right, Marty. Number 10. Nelson got the kick away. Reminds me a little bit of Reggie Roby. He's, he just kind of stands there and swings his leg and boots it 20, 30 yards. Roby would kick it 50, though. He could kick in the pros because he's got a no-step approach. I like those quick releases, right? Yes. Oh, I'm running out of lines, Tom. You better hurry up and get the quarter over. 48 seconds remaining. It's going to be first and 10, Lutheran. And uh, you spotted at the 47 or 48? Let's call it the 47. 37, pardon 37. me. 37. What do you think, Marty? They're going to come out throwing in the last 48 here, or do you think they'll? Oh, well, you might as well take advantage of the wind. <laughs> Put one out. I got a feeling they'd be throwing whether it was with or against the I, wind. I think they will too, except now you could put one up there. But again, I can't believe how deep that safety is, Marty. 5, 10, 15 yards, 16 yards. Both ducks under center. Second back through home, and uh, there's no place to go. Now, right now, Marty, they're they're sending one or two guys right up the middle, and you're not going to be able to run up the, get the middle. And they're also getting good penetration all the way along the line. Holm loses three, and I'll tell you, well, Christian is or Rockford Christian is taking over the game on the defensive side. They are just uh, pushing Lutheran around here in the second half. Minus five, minus three, minus six, minus thirteen, minus two, minus three. Not many plus uh, gains this half. Two receivers to each side. They got guys coming right up the middle. Quick out, catch is made by Radloff, and he gets it out to about the 45. Nice catch, nice run, good pass. That was a good play because you got away from those blitzing guys in the middle right away. Yeah, that was Rock huge. Rockford did have good pursuit though from the inside out but not until Luthen had gained a few yards. And quarter. that's gonna be the end of the quarter with the ball spotted on the 44 yard line. At the end of three quarters of play, it's Rockford Christian 14, Sheboygan Lutheran seven. Reach the spot, oh, I'm down for you. So you can see the truth. Having twins can be a handful. If I 
one, get one free. So when I decided to go back to school, I needed to find one that fit my, our lifestyle. Lakeland College was the perfect place. They offer an easy to manage schedule and counselors to help me anytime. Evening classes at Lakeland don't tie my, <laughs> our life in knots. Ever consider a double major? Get a good shot of uh, Radloff as Lutheran comes back on the field. We're going to be starting fourth quarter action. According to my stats in that quarter, Taylor Polth was two for three for zero yards. He had a minus 10 completion and a plus 10 completion. The last one coming to uh, Radloff right here at the end to draw him up to zero. It's third down and three. Lutheran trailing by seven. They need first down here. Ball spotted on the 44-yard line. Here they They're come bringing again. somebody right up the middle again. You're right. Taylor Poth got away from one, but he can't get away from the other two. And eventually making the stop was big number 77, Tyler Sears. And uh, They're bringing him up the middle, Marty, and then they're gonna, Lutheran's got to figure out a way right now to stop that. Or, the last quarter is going to get long. Ooh, for sure. Loss of eight on that sack by Poth makes it fourth down and 11. McDuff is back deep to receive the punt. And we get a flag. I think uh, somebody on the defense lined up offside. I think they did. Tony Holm is back to do the punting for Lutheran. You have nothing going on in the fall though, right? In terms of coaching? Just uh, nothing going on in the fall. Basketball over here at South? Just, I'm just golfing. <laughs> on Tuesdays. Five yard penalty, repeating fourth down. Ball now resting on the Crusader 41. That's a good fall. I have a fall I like I'm gonna come here Friday night and watch the ball game you guys are doing. Should be an interesting game. Yeah, right? I think it's gonna be uh Slinger lost their first game also. It'll be a good test for South. Kick is away, not real long, and sails out of bounds right around the forty six yard line. Oh boy. Not a good one. Not it's Rockford's gonna be first and 10 for Rockford and they're gonna be uh, not in the hole. They're gonna be in good field position. Be nice if Lutheran could get a big stop right here right now. And yeah, I've got it down as a 13 yard punt, Tom. That's just, uh, that's not not good enough. Not, no. But uh, like, ha like happened so many times, you know, it still falls back on your defense. Your defense has gotta get you in position and keep you in position. What they did late in that second quarter, I thought, was they put uh, Rockford Christian in some long second and third down where they had to throw the ball once or twice, and they don't feel real comfortable doing that. No, they had him in a good position. First back is Shields, and uh, Vanderpie is right there, and they drive him back after a short gain. Maldonado was in on that tackle. Good job. Yeah, Maldonado was, was the guy I noticed, not uh, 72. We'll give uh, Shields a gain of one. That was a very nice job by the defense. You'd like to see them do more of that right now and get the ball back. And Second down and nine, ball on the 47. Uh, excuse me, Tom. Trips. <laughs> Here you go, trips to the right. Thunberg, well, Burton was not in good position to uh, take a uh, option, but uh, Thunberg is really running the daylights out of this carry and uh, gets it down. He loses Humble. the ball. Lutheran has it. Yeah. Thunberg with a great effort, but he lost the ball at the end of the run. Boy, he ran from one side of the field to the other, Marty. Yeah, he was going uh, east and west along with a little bit of north and south. Lost the ball on about the 34-yard line. Had a big pickup, but then he fumbled and lost it. You're going to take a good look at it. Look at number 40, Tom. He does not good in good position to take a pitch. No, I don't. 
Good run here. Right here, tries to make a little extra effort and loses the ball. Hit the ball hanging out there and lost it. Good break for Luther. Now let's see if they can capitalize on it. Yep, I think we're going to call it spotted on the 31. So what is that, 19, 29? Could that be a 34-yard run? Is that right? Yeah. Ooh, and, yeah. And he also ran 40 yards side to side. Yeah, really. They're coming First down and 10. Lutheran going against the wind. Poleth trying to get outside, but he can't. He's hitting hammer down for another loss. And coming in there was Tyler Sears amongst others. Well, they're bringing a linebacker every time, at least one linebacker every time now. And right now, defensive line is overpowering the offensive line. Yeah, in a big way. I mean, it's uh, not even close. Nope, it's a big way. Ball spotted on the 26. That makes it a loss of five for uh, Taylor Poth. And uh, I shudder to think what his totals are going to look like because in that third quarter, he had uh, many, many losses on sacks. And it's uh, continuing here in the fourth quarter. Go from the shotgun. He has home out there and just overshot his receiver. It goes incomplete. Playing defense out there was uh, Kent Thunberg and his teammate Shane Yosey. He got the ball out there, but just a little short. And he's, he has a nice spiral. I'm not sure about the. Seems to throw a little bit sidearm. Yeah, it's like, you know, uh, you know we throw, tell pitchers get their elbows up and throw. He's kind of got his elbow down. Third down and 15. Big play. You know, wide receivers, two to the left and two to the right. Home in motion. Herps the lone setback. Rifles a shot over the middle to TJ Radloff. Getting close to the first down, scrambling, but he's gonna be just short, just over the 40 yard line. It's gonna be a 14 yard pickup. Let's see what they do here. He really, when he, when uh, Taylor Poth has time to get set, he's he's got it, he fires a nice pass, Marty. He fired that one in there real nice. Here he is in the replay. Fires that in there, a little bit of side, side arm, nice block on the play too to help him get as close as they are to the first down. Looks like they may be going for it, Marty. Big decision, big time in the ball game with 8.38 left. Radloff had six catches in the first half. He has two more here in the second to give him eight on the night. Big Fourth play. and one. Wide receiver split off to the left and right. We have two setbacks on this play. Both ducks under center, barking out the signals. He drops back, looking, looking. Shields wraps him up and rips him down for a loss on the play. Sam Shields making a dynamite play again. Big play by the big guy. He's been offensively and defense, defensively one of the big guys for Rockford Christian High School. That stop was made on the 37-yard line where the Rockford Christian line will take over first and 10. Ball is going to be, that's going to be a loss of three for uh, Taylor Poth. And Rockford Christian will take over on the 37. Eight ten remaining in the fourth quarter. Rockford Christian leads it 14 to seven. Second back through is Burton and he drags tacklers up to about the 35 or 34 yard line. Give him a gain of three. Vanderpie and Herps on the tackle. Another tackle for Vanderpie. I wish he was keeping track of those tonight. He yeah, he'd have a bundle. On special teams and defensively, he's done a very nice job. More than just a handful. He's been in a lot of plays. I think the most uh, exciting was when he was in the middle of the field and he slid down and got the quarterback way out to the, to the side. It really showed great pursuit. Burton on the inside handoff on the spread offense. He picks up pretty good yardage. He's got it inside the 30 down to about the 28. Be close, a couple of yards for a first down. Pick up a six. They're down in one. 
Third and short yardage for the Lions. Big play here now for Luther. Of course, I've been saying that the last few minutes, but I really they're all big when you're on defense and you're trailing. <laughs> they're, and the good part for Rockford is they probably have two downs to get. Those well, yeah, I was thinking yards. about this when when Lutheran had the the fourth and one. You know, they're not the kind of team that's going to play the smash my mouth kind of football. When Rockford Christian gets into this kind of position. I mean, that's, that's their kind of football, you know, right up yeah, the middle. Right. Give me the football, <laughs> here we, we're going to come right at you. Oh, and they got the bruiser back there and Shields, too. They're either going to give it to Shields or follow Shields. Yeah, and either way, you're in trouble. That's right. They're following him this time. Oh, oh but nice slipping play. through. Number 72, that's yes. Mander Pye, that's and also Mander. helping him was uh, Caleb Davis. Wow, wow good play. Sh shot right through there and made a nice tackle. Good job, super job. McDuffa loses three on the play. Well, I said they had, they might have two downs. So let's look at the last play. Oh yeah, it was Vanderpie. He was right the one there. that got through there, you're right. Nice job. Fourth down and four. With the second, second back. back through. He's not going to get the first down, but they got a scrum going. All right. They finally push him back. No gain. Good job. Burton on the carry for no gain. Well, a good defensive stop by Lutheran when they needed it. Boy, Christian took over deep in their territory, and they held him to no first downs. That's excellent. You know, and they had the three and then the six-yard run. We we're talking about the smash mouth football, but they smashed it right back in. Well, they, they had the smash mouth football, and they didn't smash mouth it. Marty, they went wide on that play, lost a couple of yards, and put them in a fourth and long instead of the fourth and only a yard. Well, the ball is going to be spotted. We'll call it the 30 yard line. It's a little hard to see. The line is uh, very light out there. I think it's just a tad short of the 30, but we'll call it the 30. It makes the math a little easier. <laughs> <laughs> I need every Round. bit of help I can get. I think you're rounding up. <laughs> well, they got a linebacker right in the middle. It came. Radloff got pushed. There's a fight for the ball. Who's going to have it? Offense. Radloff comes away with it. You know, I think they could easily call pass interference, too, because he got bumped pretty good. But oh. there was no flag. Penalty on the play uh, from somewhere. Penalty off to the side. I don't know what's going on. I think they uh, Something just call the play. Oh, you're right. The flag is no personal, personal foul, foul on somebody. After the play. You're going to see it right here. I actually threw that one up for grabs, but Radloff made a great adjustment. Let's see off on the top of your screen. Can I, you see anything no, that happened? Any. Can you take your helmet off, Marty? Uh, it might have been a poor choice of behavior after ruling Sheboygan had the ball. That's the only thing I can think of. Right now, they're, it's at the 47, so that was a 17-yard pickup. TJ with another catch. He has a 31 yards on two catches in this quarter. TJ does a really nice job of going and getting that ball. And Went up there and grabbed a piece of it, and I think, I think the ruling is, Marty, goes to the offense then if they both get it? I, th I, th time. Yeah. Yeah, I, th I think you're right there. I, I, and that's what happened? I concur. Ball is spotted inside the 40. We'll call it the 38 after the penalty. First and 10, Lutheran. They're in great field position. Both dropping back. Rifles one down the field. Radloff comes back and makes wow. the catch. Super job. Super job, Marty. He looked, he caught that ball, looked down at its feet to make sure they were in bounds. Excellent job. Not only caught it, he made sure his feet were in bounds. I hope we got that. Here we go. I'm going to give him a 20 yard pickup. Actually, it's going to be a little less than 20. Give him 18 yards. He just, he looked down at his feet and made sure they had him in bounds. Nice catch, nice play. 
Well, you might want to think about double teaming him, Tom. What do you say? <laughs> well, I think they did have two guys out there in that play, Marty. They had a help coming, but he went up and caught that ball. Even the one before it, the one that was floating out there, they had two guys on him, and he was able to go up in between them and make the catch. And uh, quite a drive going here for the Lutheran Crusaders. We're in the fourth quarter with three, pardon me, 537 remaining. Mike Martin along with uh, Tom Burr. For those of you that are wondering where Chris Wright is, he's wishing he was here. He's over at uh, St. Dominic's with uh, Open House. All right, I gotta do that tomorrow night. We have ours, I think it's on the 20, no, on the 15th of September, somewhere around there. Here you see Coach, Coach Al Holzheimer you know, talking to the troops. You know, Marty, when things are going good, I wasn't looking at the linebackers. I don't know if they've been picking him. Do must picking him up now because I can't believe that. I think Rock they are. Has, and has stopped it. We'll watch him on this play and see where they're going. I'm wondering if the backs aren't stepping up, you know, and picking things coming right up the middle because that's really where they were getting hurt was right up the middle. And uh, you can correct that or at least help atone for that by having your backs look look to the middle. And I think the l offensive line of Lutheran has done a better job in keeping the penetration out of there too. They're coming. They're coming. Poth nice. gets it out to uh, Nimmer, and he makes a catch, gets it down inside the 15 to about the 14. Nimmer. There's that little uh, underneath pass, Tom. Game of seven on the play up they run that very nicely. He was wide open, Marty, and did a good, another good pass. He Well, and he makes a catch too. Yep. You're gonna see it, he's off on the right, drifting over to the left, there he is, makes a good catch. And he's dragged out of bounds, yeah, or nice. probably drags the defender out of bounds more than the defender dragged him. Another timeout by Luther, and they had a substitution that, uh, I don't know if it was supposed to occur or not, but uh, Coach Holzheimer didn't like it, and uh, he calls timeout. And with the score of 14 to seven, we're gonna take a timeout, we'll be right back. If you give someone a fish, you feed them for a day. Teach someone to fish. You feed them for a lifetime. Give me a fish, and you'll feed me for a day. Teach me to fish, and you'll feed me for a lifetime. Through Volunteers of America, you can help change lives in your community. Back at South High School, where uh, Sheboygan Lutheran is on the move, and uh, Tom, you think you saw an injury, and that's why they needed to make a quick substitution. Uh, I thought I saw Matt Maldonado limping off Marty, and I think he's off the field right now. So they needed to make a substitution for him. Well, here we go. They've they've sent guys up the middle. The last play, Tom, they didn't get through. Poth drops straight back. Fires it to the outside, oh. and there's interference. Yes, the receiver definitely. was pushed down. Nimmer definitely. tried to make a move, and it looked like uh, Mc McDuffa pushed him, gave yep. him a two-hand shiver. Just pushed him right out of the play. Well, I, I don't think he would have caught the ball either. The ball was yeah, too wide. Going in another direction. I see Matt Maldonado is coming back in there. You were going to see lots of guy in the end of the right on the line, there you see him going out, and there you see the two-hand shiver. That defensive play was made by uh, Mike Gerangetti, and uh, that's pass interference. And uh, Lutheran's gonna get the ball first and goal. They're talking to uh, Nicholas Carrier regarding the penalty. And I think Carrier said to uh, Charlie Stark, let me think now. Second and seven or first and goal? Hmm. Let's I, take the first and goal. I think so, Marty. <laughs> Let's see Lutheran get it in here now. It's like the time I got stopped for going just a little too fast and the guy said, well, what would you like today? The $100 ticket or the warning? Well, let me think about that for a minute. <laughs> he said, you better not think too long, Buster. Well, it's a half half the distance, we're gonna give it the seven yard line where it's gonna be first and goal for Lutheran. Lone setback is Herbst. 
Pull it straight back, rifles it over the middle, and it catches in and out of the hands of the receiver. Davis, or was that home? home. It was home, and uh, he got drilled pretty good. Good pass defense that time by Rockford. Good pass, he got a nice pass in there. Taylor Poth, been throwing the ball. When, when he's got time, Marty, he seems to do a pretty good job, I think, for a young quarterback getting the ball in there. Young quarterbacks just need time to develop. Here we go, second and goal. Ball spotted inside the 10 at about the seven yard line. Nobody coming up the middle that time, quick out. And uh, it was right between the two receivers. Uh, not a very accurate pass. But uh, that time, looked like they were dropping more men back that time on they defense. Dropped and they got some pressure on the quarterback. Made him throw it, I think, a little bit sooner than he wanted. There was a defensive lineman laying at the quarterback's feet. Ooh, that's always distracting. It's going to be third down and goal. Thing is, a field goal doesn't help you. You're down by seven. They need to get a touchdown. Well, they should have two chances at it, Marty. Last two passes have been incomplete after throwing three completions in a row, actually four in a row. I would say that that pass to the left, that timing pass to the left. Yeah, you got it called. He did it again. Radloff trying to make the catch. He made the catch, but he is out of bounds. Almost. Good call, Tom. Well, they sent, they had two receivers to the right and they sent one of the backs to the right and trying to deke the defense. I don't, Radloff is such a nice receiver. I don't think that was a hard call to make, Marty. No, the only thing that might have hurt him a little bit was there wasn't a whole lot of field to work with on this left side. The ball is on the left hash mark. That made it much harder for the receiver. Didn't give him a lot of room to clear, but. Well, this uh, is a key point in the game. It's fourth down. We have five 14 remaining in the quarter. Radloff is double covered out here on the left. Herbst and Holm Almost. in the backfield. Home in motion. Straight back, he's looking for Radloff. Pass over the middle to Nimmer. Just off his hands, a little bit behind. Poth was hit as he threw. Not an easy throw, but he got it out there. That was good play. They had the play there. And Pass was just off by a little, I think. Yep. Nimmer able to get his hands on it, but a little bit too far behind him. He was open. Yeah. Oh, well. Now we got to play some defense. Keep him down here. Get one Ooh, more shot. See, real good time to uh, get him three and out like they did the last time. Time to stuff him. Shields the up back. Burton and McDuffa Shields takes it, and he's hit right at the line of scrimmage and pushed back. Little or no gain. That was good job by the defense. Good penetration by our uh, friend Zach Vanderpai. A good penetration. Now, so far in the fourth quarter, Tom Shields has only carried the ball twice for a total of two yards, making a big difference. Here you see Chuck Benedum. Activities director over at uh, Sheboygan Lutheran. Does a great job over there, kids really like him. Second back through is Burton. He gets it up just over the 10, but uh, not much. Somebody hurt on the play, Marty. Well, that's not good. Well, if it's gonna be somebody hurt, it might as, might as well be the other team, even though we don't like anyone getting hurt. Ball is spotted just outside the 10, we'll call it the 11, so uh, give Burton a pickup of three yards on the play. It's gonna make a third down and six. Long six. Yeah, long six is right. Well, if Lutheran can stop him here, they should get the ball in fairly decent field position for one more try here. Well, it looks like it was, maybe it was a cramp. Hopefully he's not, uh, that uh, Royal Lion isn't uh, seriously hurt. 
Rockford Christian's nickname is the Royal Lions. Sheboygan Lutheran, of course, are the Crusaders. And he's we're up. just Tom and Mike. And he's up and walking off the field. And that's, that's a, good, a thing. good thing. Glad to see that. That was uh, Mr. Burton who scored the touchdown earlier. Philip Burton. And then in that series, he ran the ball very well, Marty. He had a three, and then a six, and then a zero, and then another three. So he's been getting pretty much action. He had more action in the fourth quarter than he had in the whole first, first half. Trips to the right, lone wide receiver out to the left. McDuffa is the lone back with the Thunberg, and he pitches it out. McDuffa picks up a nice block. He slips one tackler, almost slips another, but he's out over the 20 and he's got a first down. Lose the ball? He lost the ball, but got it back. Got it back. You're right. Boy. He picked up some real nice blocking out there, Tom. They, what, what helps him on that play is with those three wide receivers out in that area, they get such nice, watch the crackback block here on 22. See that? Boom! And tackler missed them, and yeah. by then it was too yeah. late. But they get such, you get such good angles with those three wide receivers coming back to the inside. Almost on that one, he got him in the back. Close to an illegal block. Yeah, really. It was very close, you're right. That's why crackbacks aren't always legal. But they get really good angles. Same formation, but this time they give it the shields up the middle. And uh, Good defense played by Lutheran, stopping him for a short gain. Uh, picks up about three yards. The big guy's going out, that's a good thing. He's played a heck of a football game, that's for sure. On both sides of the ball, Mark. Right, yeah, on both sides is absolutely right. And running the ball and being the lead blocker. Is the only thing he hasn't done is caught the ball yet. Of course, they don't throw the ball much anyway. No. They might throw one out. No, I don't think so. Trips out to the right again. Lone setback is McDuff, I believe. No, nope, new back. Thunberg trying to get wide. Good pursuit by Luther, and they string it out, knock him out. I was hoping here's a 20 yard line. Yeah, and I was hoping he was out of bounds to stop the clock. We only have 250 left, Marty. Clock winding as we speak. It's down to about 245. It's going to be third down. How many timeouts does Lutheran have left? They, uh, they call two. They have one left. No, that's what I thought. Ball is spotted at about the 21 or 22 yard line. Give Thunberg a loss of two on the play. Big play. Watch those crack backs again. Oh, they got the big guy in there. Thunberg right. telling Shields, get ready. You're getting it. Uh, he could be coming this way, quarterback. Well, he drops straight back. He has pretty good blocking. Now he's flushed out of the pocket, and the receiver can't quite come up with it. Trying to make the catch, but unable to was Benjamin Heinz. And that was a good and, thing uh, for that, Luther. Yeah, it stops the clock. Stops the clock, Marty. Stops the clock with just over two minutes and six seconds left. First pass attempt by Rockford here in the fourth quarter. And only the fifth attempt of the half. Thunberg is one out of five this half. Well, the snapbacks have been shaky at best. And, you know, if we can get another shaky one, get that block this time. Yeah, I don't know if they have a block or not, but now might be a good time to go after it. Yeah, really. Especially, like you just said, the Oop. snaps have been shaking. And here's now a penalty as they walk up to the line of scrimmage. Wow. That probably might have been an equipment thing. Delay a, game. Delay a game. The good part about that, the clock's not running either, Marty. Yep, and it pushes them back a little bit. Every yard helps now. Well, we've been doing a good job of feeling the punts all night. This you know, is a big one. What do you think of this? Don't rush him, just make sure he gets it away and run a run a return. Again, you know, do they have a return in the playbook yet? Snap is good, and Nelson's kick is away. 
Radloff takes it at the 45, he's up to the 50, down to the 45 before he's pulled out of bounds. Good catch and a good return. Did a nice job of him. He had to move back on that ball to catch it. And yeah, he did a good job of retreating and making the grab. That's not easy to do. This situation, this is good when you have a passing game and a passing attack because we're on what, the 46, Marty? 46, and uh, the one thing I do kind of like though, Tom, is the ball is on the right hash mark. Radloff almost always lines up here on the left, so it gives him a little bit more operating room. He's being guarded by... He's that two guys right on him and uh, the, the safety is way over to this side yeah. too. So I Jan Goder, Radloff heading up over the middle, passes well over his head, incomplete. And that's who they were looking for. You know, at some point, I do think though, you need to look for some of your other guys just to uh, take the pressure off Radloff a little bit and make well, the uh, defense respect those other guys. And as we just noted, I mean, it, it was almost like they had three guys on them. Yeah, right, yeah, they're, they're doing more than double covering them. What I like to do in that situation is put a man right up on them and bump and run with them and then, which throws the timing of the pass off. And Luthen does throw a lot of timing passes. Now we have four wide receivers, two to the left, two to the right. Lone setback is Herbst. Tailored straight back, rifles one down the field. Radloff makes a great adjustment wow. and he rips the ball away from the defense. He's got it complete at the 30. He's really fun to watch, Marty. He is a really great receiver. Yeah. He, I mean, that's 16 two, yard completion. Two, three times where, four times where we've seen, he's had to go up and get the ball right with the defense and that's his ball. One forty and counting, Marty. Pull with five for ten in the fourth quarter. He's been putting it up a lot. Rolling out, throwback to uh, home, but he had a knee down. Yep. And it's going to be a catch, but uh, not much of a gain. Matter no, of fact, it'll be a loss. I think it bounced, Marty. So oh, it did bounce. Okay, so yep. incomplete. That's incomplete. even better. It stops the clock. I think the official was signaling ball was on the ground. That was before his knee was on the ground. Second down and 10 ball on the 30. Well, Lutheran got it as far down as the seven first and goal and was not able to score. Uh, the Royal Lions playing great defense on the goal line. 131 remaining in the ball game. Lutheran has one timeout left. Wide receivers left and right. Davis not in the game, he hurt himself earlier. Poth rifles it down deep, and it's incomplete. Even if that ball had been intercepted by Thunberg, if he was out of bounds, it would have been in, not an interception. All right, they had uh, three defenders over on him and a fourth one very, very close, Marty. Leaning. I, I would think that uh, maybe one of their passes where they bring somebody across from the other side now would yeah, work. Yeah, Nimmer is uh, real good at that. That little drag pattern. I think that's what they call it, don't they? Yeah. Let let Radleff clean it, clear it out, and send somebody underneath him. He's going to be wide open because everybody's running with him. I Luke tell you. Justinger is uh, in for Davis, number 15. Fake pass. He's rushed hard. Is Poth, and he throws it up for grabs, and it's almost intercepted. It bounces around like a volleyball, but uh, nobody could come up with it. And all that following, I do think Radleff got. That's the first pass I've seen him miss. Yeah. <laughs> but it had to be batted by two other people first. Yeah, we're gonna get a look at it right here. Pump fake, and then he throws it up for grabs. Oh, I got a feeling if uh, Ekstrom wouldn't have bumped into his own teammate, he would have made that catch, because he was right there. Well, they had three guys. I mean, they've got three, four guys right on that guy right there, TJ Radliff. <laughs> Played a wonderful game. It's been fun to watch. Yeah, certainly has. It's fourth down, a big play. Luther needs to get it down to the 20-yard line. It's fourth and 10. Uh, Taylor Poth has had a pretty tough going this uh, 
last half of the fourth quarter, he had that first and goal, and he threw four incompletions, and then he started off this drive here with an incompletion before finally completing one for a first down. Now he's had three more incomplete. So you got to give uh, Rockford some credit. They're uh, loading those pass defense zones. Well, they're playing good while well, they're loading up on Radliff, and they're, they're getting a little pressure. I, I, I do think Lutheran has done a pretty good job in this fourth quarter, better than the third quarter as far as the uh, protecting. I got to show you the sheets here from the third quarter. No runs, sacks. Sacks. <laughs> so they are doing a much better <laughs> yeah, job in the fourth quarter. They certainly are. I said a little better, I meant much better, Marty. Here's the fourth quarter. Well, got TJ down here at the bottom. Poth rushed hard, oh. he throws it up, barely got it away. And the defensive player made a smart play, Tom. He just batted that ball away. And uh, that's going to be uh, the possession. They'll be able to pretty much fall on the ball. There's 113 left. Good uh, pass rush by number 61, Ryan Smith from Rockford Christian. First down and 10. Rockford will take it on the 30. Coaches for Rockford Christian leaving the uh, booth, feeling they have the game pretty much wrapped up. And uh, they played a good game. Both teams have played uh, very spirited football here tonight. I think it was a good matchup. Uh, it's either defense. McDuff or Burton on the carry. Burton on the carry. Not much. Not much on the carry, Tom. They uh, stuffed them. There have been times in this game where they've done a really good job of, of stuffing that run, and especially in the fourth quarter here, Marty. They've well, it's not over yet. You know, if they can strip the ball away, I'm surprised they didn't uh, just kneel down, actually, instead of handing off. No timeouts remaining for uh, Lutheran. We're inside a minute. Hand off to McDuffa. Goes off tackle around the end and uh, gets close to a first down. He's gonna get knocked down right at the 40, pick up a nine or eight. Very close to the first down. Fifth, oops. It's timeout. I think timeout. Uh, I thought maybe a timeout for a measurement, but they really don't need to measure on this. They didn't get it. And clock is running. That's the ball game. Rockford Lutheran opens their uh, 2005 season with the hard fought 14 to seven win over the own two Sheboygan Lutheran Crusaders. We're gonna step out, come back. We'll give you some final stats and uh, wrap up this puppy. seals and counting killed over the last decade make your voice heard visit ifa.org to end the cruelty this is a tree that was never chopped down to make a crutch that was never needed by a child who never got polio because vaccine was never in short supply thanks to people whose compassion wasn't either over the years Rotary Club members have helped immunize over 2 billion children against polio. Soon, the world will be polio-free. Rotary, humanity in motion. We're back here at uh, Sheboygan South High School where the Lutheran Crusaders really gave a spirited fight, but uh, Rockford Christian just a little too tough tonight, Tom. Uh, there were times where Rockford Christian was overpowering them, uh, using their power running and, and then uh, blitzing and overpowering them with, with their blitz. Uh, 
when Lutheran was on offense. If you had to pick a, pick a player of the game, I think we'd both agree that, that uh, Samuel Shields, number three, would probably be it. He had uh, 107 yards rushing and uh, was great, like you said, leading the plays and really played a fine game on defense, too. He played uh, very well on both sides of the ball, but I was real impressed, too, with uh, T.J. Ratliff. I enjoyed watching him go up and get that ball all night long. He did a super job. He's uh, quite a receiver. He finished the night with uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven receptions is what I have him for. I know Andy's going to be real interested in that because he keeps track of the records and things, and that might have been a record a for him, I think. record for him, before. for sure, because I think he had ten going in, and he had eleven tonight. tonight. So a uh, great night by TJ. Yeah, and I think the area record, I think, before he said was uh, 12. Yeah, by... Uh, Summersberger? Summersberger, Greg Summersberger played for South and actually went to a Valpo too and played football yes, uh, where uh, Josh Bensler is. Well, that's going to do it for our broadcast tonight. Tom, I want to thank you a lot for uh, coming over. It's uh, great working with you, just like it is when uh, we're teaching school and going to those Phi Ed meetings. For uh, the crew, Brian Andrews on the field camera, Andy McKillop up on top, Kerry Kautzer spinning the dial. I'm Mike Martin saying so long, everybody. Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you down the road. Thank <laughs> you.